Boys, girls, people of royalty, lads. Oh my goodness. Let's click the button. Let's click the button. Pokemomo. Am I going to lag my stream while I, <laughs> while I download 500 megabytes for this update? Oh no. We got the update, but servers are still down. We can't log in yet. That's, I mean, it's something. You know what? It's it's honestly like now we have it pre-installed. So we can we can just log in. But Drowsy, what's your password? That's a great question, Chatter. Wait, wait. People are getting in. I've got to try to log. People are in queue. People are in queue. Is it time? Okay, mine didn't work. I'm going to be honest. Try to log in. It just says servers are down, guys. I'm going to be honest. Okay, let me re-log. Let me re-log. Dude, this looks so good. We literally can't log in yet, so courtesy of Mist in chat for this uh for this image. I got it. One sec, guys. Dude, the new GTL looks so good. Are you kidding me? The like blocky that looks so clean. Wow, that's so organized. You see the level, you see IVs super clearly, price. What did it look like before? I can't even like remember, <laughs> which is hilarious. Dude, that is so nice looking. The new UIs they've been making recently are, fun are insane. Props to the devs, they're killing it, man. They're killing it. Like this looks so good. Obviously it's a little clunky on stream, I believe, like just for my... No, it looks, it looks pretty good. Like, that's... Yo, thank you, Mist, for that for that screenshot. This this looks gorgeous. Like, we want to clearly see everything, all the stats, the price. Man. Probably Alpha's being listed. The nature. That's so nice, man. That's, that's a beautiful UI. I'm excited to see it actually in-game for myself. It's a beautiful UI change. We've got some gameplay footage courtesy of Mist. Because, uh... I can't get in <laughs> and he's carrying the stream so uh let me just properly crop this we do it live huge shout outs to mist supplying the content we can't even get in the server apparently it just looks really clean like everything runs really smoothly I'm gonna loop this look at the gyarados and stuff like the gyarados the sprite just looks really clean he has the Alpha Gyarados, normal Gyarados, totaled out in his inventory. We see a welcome back quacks in the in the team chat based. What's that guy's name? Pog God? Pog God with the team meme <laughs> was able to log in. Okay, we're letting the high priority people in. I, I understand. Honestly, fair, fair, fair. Dude, earlier today. My girlfriend Casey said one of the craziest things I've, I've ever heard. And I super agree with this. She said, what if, what if Chikorita evolved into Bayleaf? And then what if Bayleaf evolved into Tropius? Tropius is such a cool Pokemon. And so much better than Meganium. It's not even close. Tropius would be an incredible grass starter final evolution that would be that would be phenomenal tropius is more lame than meganium you are a great chatter and i appreciate you that is insane tropius is lamer you're fucking bonkers if you think tropius is lamer than Mag tropius is a phenomenally cool pokemon dragon dance sets earthquake air slash stab you can do tons of cool stuff with it Dude, banana, yeah, got beard bananas. Tropius is an incredibly cool Pokemon. Meganium, the whole Chikorita line. Yikes. Huge shout out to our, our man Mist on the inside. Actually just feeding us with information. We do have an update. Here you go. Servers are shutting back down. For two, in two minutes for bug fixes, okay? I don't know how long they'll shut down for. It shouldn't be three hours. Don't worry. It should probably be like hopefully 30 minutes to an hour or something. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. It could be five minutes. They might they might already have they might already have the bug located and fixed. They just need to like shut down and reopen. I don't know. Right? We're all playing it by ear. We're all waiting. Jodo soon. 
we've waited this long. Let's just let's just not focus on it. Just hang out and chat. Just beam around. There you go. Holy shit! I think we're in. Oh, I mean, I, why do I say I think we're in? <laughs> oh shit! We got it. We spammed enough. Can we? It looks so crazy. It looks so nuts. Dude, people are already buying RP, selling RP. It's gonna, dude, my eyes have to adjust to that so much. I have so much to adjust to when it comes to the new GTL. Can we go to Joe? Okay, let's stop dilly dallying. It's there. What, what am I doing? I'm stalling for content. Are you guys ready to start our Johto journey in Pokemon Mo? Yes. That is okay. We're here. New Bark Town, Channel 1. We made it. It took us long enough. A little bit of time. A couple months. A fair bit of time. But we made it. We're here. Someone already has the outfit. We're here, fellas. Well, let's just go ahead and jump into it. I am going to be picking Cyndaquil, I believe, as my actual starter Pokemon. Then I get locked into some dialogue. Dude, do I need to, like, turn off... Oh, I have my... There we go. Now I can see things. Lol. Um, I didn't seek with Marl. Uh-oh. Let me actually quickly check. You should be able to check the Pokedex. Let's say I haven't updated it. Johto rocks. It's still a rock location. I don't know if that's going to be a shiny hunt, unfortunately. Here's your trainer card. Yada yada. I would have loved to shiny hunt some more shuckles, but if it's a rock location, not looking great, but we'll see. Oh, I can't move. Okay. I can't tell if I'm storyline. I literally can't tell if I'm like lagging from servers or if I'm storyline locked. I'm a little paranoid, but I think it's from actually just the storyline. Okay, I'm fine. And this guy is just back here chilling. So this is the famous. O is this part of the storyline? I literally. I've just played the PTS and I forget everything. Okay, this should be my starter pick. I'm gonna go for Cyndaquil. I th I believe I could go. Man, I could go for Chikorita for the for the for the what's it called the patch, but I don't care enough. A little bit of extra pokey in. Um, a lot of people are going for it. I'm going for Cyndaquil because it's my favorite. I like getting my favorite starter for these regions when I do this kind of thing. This little confirmation screen is interesting. Um, I can always buy a Totodile or whatever down the line and do whatever. I'd rather get, you know, my favorite, my favorite starter as the uh, the gift Pokemon that is untradeable and sits in my boxes forever, right? So many Chikoritas on screen? Yeah, I know. It's disgusting, isn't it? 2k player queue? Honestly, that's not bad. <laughs> There's been like four or 5k player queues during the alpha swarms and stuff. 2k is honestly pretty low. That's not bad at all. That probably will be like 20 minutes. Something like that. Maybe less. 20 to... 20 to f I've never been in a Pokemon mode queue that was longer than like 30 minutes. You were at 2.6k in queue and you got it in 3 minutes? Yeah. There you go. That's a good question. Can we check what alphas are at? Like what new alphas might be out via the alpha Pokedex? Will it actually tell us anything? I don't think so, right? Right? I feel like we'll have to wait. I feel like that'd be a huge leak. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything. Like, I feel like we'll have to... I feel like I have to just wait. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. No, Mar I'd be really shocked if there is no Marie Port. It's possible they just didn't include it, but maybe there is no Marie Port. What, is, a fla is there a Flaffy Hoard or something? Maybe there's no Marie Port. Let's check Miltank and Tauros really quick. Did they just fully show? Route 47 common. I am so excited to single encounter hunt Miltank. That is insane. That is, I'm so excited. And then, dude, we can single encounter hunt for Tauros and Miltank now. That is insane. There are hordes that need a client update, but the update isn't out yet. Hordes are bugged currently. That is so strange. It's so interesting. Wow. We got our running shoes so we can sprint now, which is nice. Okay, I can already grab my Pokemon. Thank fuck. There we go. Easy mode, fellas. Whew. Well, now we can uh, kick back, relax. I'm going to turn on XP Reamplifier hilariously. Can kick back, relax, and uh, enjoy some real Pokemon. 
Some real Pokemon at this point, fellas. This thing has, like, no moves. Except for Rock Slide, so I'm just gonna put a Choice Band on it. And then, dude, Choice Band Cranidos is gonna go hard. And then, uh, what else? Do you want Choice Band on that? Probably not. Do you want Specs on this? Do I have any on this? Probably not Specs. We'll do Leftovers on all three of these. Because it's OP. There you go. Leftovers, so nice. Ocean up really quick. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I have my team fully together now, so I don't see myself using my Cyndaquil for quite a while. Chikorita is ass! I almost died Route 1. <laughs> Ruin real. This guy also has a Kratidos. Wait, based last Sam. The Jonas storyline is good. I actually did genuinely enjoy it. I was pretty shocked that I enjoyed it during the PTS. Um, hey, kiddo! Oh, jeez. Wait, I just accidentally threw up a fire, a firework, which lets us know you can pop fireworks in Johto. The real question everybody was wondering. Okay, confirmed there are hordes. Okay, Death doesn't show them yet. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So there are, there's possibly a Marie horde. We just haven't seen it yet. Okay, that's pretty cool. We got our first apricorn, a pink apricorn in our apricorn box. That's something the PTS didn't have. We got to kill something with this shiny Kranido. So I've got to see him absolutely demolish this poor little rat beautiful it's a beautiful thing to see to witness i will say unfortunately so much of my team is male which is going to make whitney pretty hard like my Kranidos is male my sandile is male uh thankfully porygon z is is neutral genderless um but it's not the best like attacker against like a mill tank and stuff so uh, whitney might actually be kind of hard we'll see okay this totodile is about to have the ride of his life Oh, I guess I guess he does have type advantage though, guys. So I might I might be in a little bit of trouble here. Let me uh let me see how he takes this little pebble to the face. <laughs> Dude, more wait, more apricorn farming? Okay. Green is GRN, it's kind of funny. I'm a Voltorb flip pro. Over 1k hours playing Voltorb flip. <laughs> I hope you get the world's first Voltorb flip exclusive vanity, my friend. Pokemon is so good to play a new region for the first time like with because like that you don't know what Pokemon are on this route. It's not the same as Heart Gold, Soul Silver. It might most like majority be, but there'll be different lores. There'll be different Pokemon here and there, different nighttime Pokemon, especially playing Pokemon for the like a new region for the first time is very, very much like playing a fresh Pokemon game on release and you have to discover things. It's so rare nowadays in gaming that you get to like discover stuff in a game for the first time. It's a really, really, really cool experience. People are selling, wait, wait, I saw, I saw apricorns. People are, uh, pink apricorn 30K. The beast main, okay. I'm curious to see what these go to. I'm not gonna touch these for a little bit. They should go down over time. I'm not gonna touch them. I'll touch them. I'll pick those up once they go down. It's a good question. Like which, which of these vanities do I like the most? I, I like the fact that Entei's are wings. That is very, very cool. I think I hilariously like Suicune's the most. Which, Suicune is my least favorite elemental dog. So you know I really like the vanity, like genuinely. It's not just after, because of Suicune, right? Wait, you're right. Teleport might be the... Why well, I already went to one PC. Where's, where does Teleport take me to right now? Cherry Grove? That does save me some time. That was actually a Gigabrain call. I need to abuse Teleport early game while I can. So I need to go talk to Professor Oak to give him the egg. I literally just dirtled back and forth for like 20 minutes. My brain is fried. I need like some caffeine. It's late, 1.40 a.m. for me, my bedtime. Teleport Ocarina early, unironically, is like really, really good. Absolutely, 100% true. Dude, I can abuse repels as well. Dude, I'm so not used to having, because the last time I did Jota was on the PTS. So I didn't have like any items and stuff. I can abuse like repels and like lepas and like abuse all these sick items that I have. Oh, this is going to be so much nicer. Yeah, we gave Elm the egg. The one girl talked. The, ch the dialogue does seem really slow. I don't know if it's like, I don't think it's actually slower. I think it's just without custom strings. I think we're just used to like custom strings making stuff a little faster. And in the egg, yeah, we're cooking. Well, I assume I have to go back to that location I was at previously where those two guys were like battling and I now I can go to that route actually. How long before an apricot respawns? Very good question. I don't know, but it's a good question to try to learn. Dude, I'm literally being babied by my chat so hard that Mist is sending me screenshots on how to solve the, the like basic kindergarten level puzzle for the next gym. 
I oh my god, Mist does not get paid enough. Doesn't get paid at all actually, but it's my it's my best mod. I appreciate you, Mist. I love you. Nine and Neo are already at the fourth gym, dude. I need to be. I need to like watch a speed run of this game. I was. I am so not prepared if they're already that far. Holy shit. Okay, I'll have to Sprout Tower before I can actually take on the first gym. All right, the final test of Bell Sprout Tower. Come on, Magikarp, go and get him. I put a female Totodile with poor stats on the GTL for 500k as a joke, and it actually sold. People are insane right now. What is that? That is pretty insane. There's a Zoroa Swarm in Johto. That's interesting. Hordes are real. Ilex Forest has three times Venonat. Okay. Cool to see some of the early game hordes. Pog, pog, pog. HM Flash and the Bellsprout Tower defeated. Dude, the Zoroa Swarm on the map. That's so funny. That's so cool. I love this animation in this gym, dude. This is this is so cool to me. The like wooden gears and like the how fast it rises. It's very, very cool to me. Something kind of exciting is that at some point, I'm going to eventually evolve my Cranidos, my Shun Cranidos into Rampardos throughout the Johto storyline. I think that'll be a pretty special moment. It'll take a, it'll take a while for it to happen, um, but it'll be cool when it does. I probably should have just led with Cranidos for this gym anyway, but I wanted to see what, uh, what Carp could do, but there we go. There it is. That is the first gym done in Johto. It took me way too long because my brain is fried it's 2 10 a.m for me and i am a absolute boomer need my nice eight hours of sleep we're pushing through nonetheless level 24 you see the the grown stronger text for the obedience thing which is cool what level does kratos evolve i think it's 32 30 close enough we got toga pa we've got a yellow apricot nothing can stop us i want to chat said check deli bird location uncommon uncommon special Oh, you're saying for the Mount Silver? Le ah, level 67 to 69. Wow. The wild Pokemon. This is a headbutt as well encounter. That's interesting. The wild Pokemon levels are getting pretty nuts at late game Mount Silver. That's pretty interesting. The highest, the highest wild level in Pokemon, aside from that one place in the region, like high level Magikarp and Sinnoh, but that's kind of specific. I just need to be one by one copying Worcester speedrun. That was easily like the fastest I've ever done anything in the storyline so far. I've been so brain delayed that that movement throughout that cave. I just need to be following his his guide. That was insane. Like every like five seconds, I just look over, watch what he does next at two times speed, and then just straight up copy him. Okay, we go this way. I'm gonna grab these apricorns though. Just kidding. I'm going off the trail already. Wait, Mist is saying there's a 100% coughing. Is it times five horde? That's a really big deal. That changes the, uh, I will not get a third Grimer ever again. It won't happen, chat. That's a big deal for shiny coughing hunts. That's that's already huge updates on chunts. It's super interesting. Mareep times five horde. Is that confirmed? Holy. It's a big deal. Wow. Route, route 42, five times Mareep, 100% horde. Dude, you'd love to see it. That's awesome. That's huge info. All right, we're at the second gym leader, fellas. Let's try to kick its butt. See how it goes. All right, there is gym two defeated. There we go. Badge number two, hive badge. Let me see. Pop up. There we go. Level 29 is the new cap. Chicharita is making the first gym hell for me. Hmm, it's almost like Chicharita. Kind of smells. The best way to use Chicharita is to box it and then never use it. Based and true. We have a rival fight really quick here. It's going to be a close one for sure, guys. Wait, what happened to my level advantage? He's level 19. <laughs> Wait, what? Wh okay, should I turn XP all off? Holy shit. He actually, dude, my level advantage disappeared. That is actually so fun. I mean, I still go for rock slide for stab and stuff. Use the XP candies? Dude, I am. Okay, crit? Easy. Out still. Easy peasy. Your rival says, I hate the weak in this game after getting obliterated and turbo fucking shit stomped by my Cranidos. Interesting. Little Napoleon complex, eh? The dreaded far-fetched puzzle is coming up. Hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. Let me turn my XP reamplifier off, actually, and repel again. Okay, a little far-fetched puzzle done. I think then he gives you access to cut. Let's see. There we go. I can cut this tree and continue onward. Thankfully, I just have a cut ocarina, honestly, anyway, so I can just go ahead and do this without even teaching your Pokemon cut, which is super nice. There we go. Heracross, use cut. If I'm following Worcester's route correctly, here we are, about to leave this forest. 
two gym badges. We're doing pretty solid. How long have I been actually playing Johto? I'm not sure how long I've been live. I know for like two and a half hours of the, of the stream. I think I've only been pl like playing Johto for like an hour and a half. Is that correct? I'm doing pretty solid. Hour and a half, two gym badges. It's not, it's not good, but uh, <laughs> it could be worse. I could do some Voltorb flip ball in Goldenrod. Where is it actually at? Goldenrod City Game Corner. Is this the Voltorb flip? I don't think so, actually. My name is Mr. Game. Play my coin game. Yada, yada, yada. Coins. Here's your coin case. Okay. Rate my current Johto team. I haven't evolved them yet. Snivy, Piplup, Ralts, Houndour, Trapinch, Tauros. Style-wise? That's a very high style-wise score. Uh, effectiveness. I'll give you two different scores. Style and score. St style and effectiveness. Snivy, Piplup, Ralts, Houndour. I feel like that's like an 8.8 .8 out of 10 in terms of style. Very, very cool, unique, stylized team. Effectiveness-wise, we've got a grass type. Pretty good in Snivy. Uh, Piplup, bulky water with an interesting typing. Ralts got a psychic type plus a teleporter. Houndour, fire type. Trapinch being a flygon. You have any? You have double water resist in Empole or double ice resist in Empoleon for weakness on a uh, Flygon. Once you get that, you have Tauros. What switch ins do you have for Tauros? You have Ralts. Is the Ralts going to be a Galade or a Gardevoir? That's a huge question as well. Galade's definitely way better for the storylines for sure. Um, in terms of effectiveness, very very good as well. Kind of slow, but like a very balanced team. I'd probably give it like a. 8 out of 10 for effectiveness, 8.8 .8 for style, really good, really cool team. Okay, I grabbed my bike, there we go, Whew, I almost forgot, there we go, we, we can zoom. Oh, I have to do this this quiz game, I remember this, to get a radio card, ah yes, of course, a radio card. Yes, yes, no, 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 I, god damn, I love you, Mist. Prior quiz, yes, yes, no, 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 I misclicked! <laughs> You gave me the cheat sheet, and I still managed to misclick. Okay, this time we got it for sure. This is the fifth question. Boom! E first try! Easy peasy. Can you just go do the gym now that you have a radio card? That's what unlocks it? <laughs> oh, I have a radio card, of course! Now I can battle the gym leader, that makes sense. Okay, before I do, this is Whitney, right? So before I do this, let me actually go ahead and get a, a sixth Pokemon just to be like fully stocked up and have everything I may need. Wait, honestly, what is this Primeape from? I might bring this random Primeape. What is this from? Why did I catch this? Oh, you know what? This was from my Kanto Pokedex completion. That This will actually be so good for... What's it called? Level 28, Adamant. It only has low kick though, which is not great. I wish I had like a better fighting type move, but honestly, that's pretty interesting. This Machamp, Timid, which is unfortunate. Some sort of fighting type though, honestly, might be super worth like a choice band. But I also just have Gyarados with Jolly, but has no moves. Yeah, let me go. Let me do the. They go Machamp or Primeape. The Machamp being Timid is just brutal. I'm gonna go Primate, I think. I think it's better. We'll do that, and they'll put a Choice Band on it, and we should be able to beat Whitney pretty easily, I think, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll regret that. Eat those words. Honestly, it's kind of fair and an interesting point, Raccoon. I kind of wish, like, winter or, like, seasons in general affected more shiny hunts. I think that would be kind of interesting. Kind of bummed that it doesn't really affect Johto as much. I, th I think it would be more interesting if, if, uh, if seasons affected different shiny hunting spots a little more. Okay, I am shockingly under leveled. I probably want to XP candy after doing this like next person. Do I have to do some weird route? Can I just, I have to do some, I have to do some weird route. Yep, <laughs> correct. Okay, this amount of XP candies will put me to level 29. I believe it should be plus six. 29, that's max obedience. Be good, okay. I'm gonna use the XP candies before I fight Whitney really quick. I do get access to Swords Dance here, which I don't, I just don't really need. I'm just, I'm going to cancel that. I just, I, I really don't need it. As cool as it is, I might evolve my shiny Rampardos, like right here, like at, during this battle in 1800 XP. We'll see. That would be pretty insane. That'd be a weird, weird feeling. 
I'm gonna go ahead and XP Candy the Magikarp as well, since it's still a carp, which is hilarious. We'll go ahead and get this up to, uh... We'll use some larges. I just have a bunch of random candies lying around. We plus nine levels. We'll go ahead and do that to 28 to get ourselves a nice strong Gyarados, a huge buff. I think we're ready. We should be. Do we have a pretty high level Primate, pretty high level Gyarados? Porygon Z and Sandal are behind, but that's totally okay. We have a really high level Cranidos. I'm hoping I hit most of my Rock Slides. Uh, if not, it's okay. We'll just switch them out and reset. Let's go ahead and battle. Really hoping this battle goes well. Probably one of the harder ones in the storyline, but we're pretty we're pretty like set up for it. So I don't think this what what'll actually be that hard. We'll see. I might not spam Rock Slide here. I thought I just learned Crunched and iron head i don't know if i need like the stab damage from rock slide to actually be able to kill i might just go something like uh like iron head spam i'm gonna try iron head spam we'll see if i need to actually switch over to rock slide yeah like that's gonna one shot i i'm choice banned level 29 brandados like i probably do so much damage right here it's insane i don't one shot this right i two shot this i could flinch it we get orn berry 30% chance to flinch on the Iron Head. We high rolled to a kill. 56. Really close. Wow. Really, really close, honestly. Yeah, I know this. Th Wait, Whitney only has three Pokemon? Wait, she had way more Pokemon in the PTS, right? I'm pretty sure Whitney had, like, a fair bit of Pokemon in the PTS. It's kind of nuts. This is also going so much faster. The fact that we're beating Whitney episode one, day one. Like, there's Gym Badge 3. She only had three Pokemon? Really? That, that, wow, easy peasy. There's the Whitney fight, ladies and gentlemen. Up. Okay, next we gotta pick up the Squirt Bottle. I know our new Max of Beans is level 32, which is a little nice. I think that this is gonna be a good time to call day one. This is just day one of Johto. Don't worry, I'll be back tomorrow streaming, making more videos and everything of the sort, but I think this is gonna be a good spot to call day one. A lot of progress is made. We got our three gym badges. We got our Squirt Bottle, the most important item in the whole region. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy today's stream, make sure to leave a like on the video and the stream. It's super appreciated. Subscribe for daily Pokemon videos covering Johto and all sorts of tips and tricks and everything. Having fun. Blast into the region. I'm very, very tired. Subscribe. Follow on Twitch. Discord down below if you're interested in that for updates on the content, updates on when I'm going live and streaming, etc. And if you want to go above and beyond, YouTube memberships, Twitch Prime, Twitch subs, PayPal and Venmo all help out a ton. I just appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Hey, thank you so much for watching until the very end of the video. Hopefully it was a positive asset on your day in some way. And thank you to everyone's name who's on this list, who is a massive positive asset to my day every single day. I appreciate you all. Thank you for going above and beyond and allowing me to do what I do. Yo, what's up? My name's Petrowski, and welcome to day two of Johto. I haven't started the stream yet. I've been up for an hour and 40 minutes, hour and 50 minutes or so. I've cranked out three videos. I've made tons of thumbnails, and there's just a lot going on, a lot to talk about, and a lot to discuss today with Johto. Now, I plan to actually tackle a Voltorb flip today while I'm in Goldenrod City. I feel like that's something I'm interested in, and I actually wanted to quickly make this clip just to show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and actually sell uh, my XP candy smalls because they're at such a high price right now that I'm willing to go ahead and just take advantage of that. So they're four, six fifty. So how many do I have? I'm not going to sell all of them. Um, but I think a large majority, I think I'm going to do like two fifty. Like this is a pretty insane price. Um, four, six fifty. For those who don't know, this is insane. I bought all of these XP candy smalls for 400 pokey yen a piece. I'm not joking. Like when the, when they released, they were not worth much at all. I bought all of these like when they were first coming into the game, and I bought a ton. I wish I bought more. If I had bought like if I had spent 20 mil on XP candy extra smalls, I would just be a billionaire at this point. Like I would have made so much money. This is still pretty astronomical, but man, I could have made so much more. But that is honestly a free one mil essentially there. Super nice to see. I'll take it. But I'll see you guys with some stream clips. All right, but this is the start of day two. Day two of Johto. What's up, fellas? How are we feeling? I want to start day two. I only have three gym badges still. I mean, only three gym badges. I'm doing solid for my for all the stuff I'm covering, all the videos I'm making. I want to do Voltorb Flip. I have to straight up watch a YouTube guide on how to do this because I do not know how to play this game, but I'm excited. GMs in global chat saying Suicune can be shiny, but you only get one check. So Suicune, there's the same as Shaman. They're all wildly rare now. 
That's pretty insane if legendaries are confirmed not to be shiny locked. I believe it. It's just it's just a crazy thing to wrap your head around. That's nuts. Whew. All right. It took me uh, the first two hours of the stream, but we got the beloved Voltorb Vanity. And honestly, it looks fantastic, in my opinion, with my Cranido. So I am happy with it. Uh, that was the most painful thing I've ever done in Pokemon, but I'm excited to actually get back to the Johto storyline now. And we can check out the Suicune Sprite, the new permanently outable legendary is crazy. That's nuts. You're going to shunt Suicune, Pat? It's not, you can't really shunt something like Suicune. You get one encounter and that's about it. You have one chance and you hopefully you roll a shiny and that's pretty much it. Uh, let's just go ahead and jump back into the storyline and see what there is to do. So I believe the last thing I did was pick up the squirt bottle and then I should be able to head over into this building. I also want to go ahead and actually put on Heart Gold Soul Silver music because I've been kind of enjoying that vibe. The Voltorb flip music was getting a little infuriating, but I think it'll be good to switch back and play through the storyline slightly as intended. Ah, yes, as intended with a shiny Cranidos with choice band. True, 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 Petrowski. Good point. Okay, I got baited by Worcester. This was not needed for the storyline. He's just going here to buy TMs to help him with like his progress which makes sense so let's uh go back to where we were Cac w no progress made because we need to go to this building right here the left in goldenrod city i don't know why we'll see here in a quick sec he's baiting me again he only goes here to pick up a master ball okay i need to actually see okay i need to actually be smarter okay let's go this way he's going this way we go north i believe here up through this route petrowski plot trying to play a storyline Jack W. Wait, guys. Something insane is about to happen. Oh, wait, I'm curious if people in chat will notice. Something insane is about to happen after this battle. I'm curious if anyone in chat will know what I'm talking about. Okay, here's the end of the battle. This is something pretty insane. This is like a really... It's a weird feel. You know, spending 17 months for this. And now it's time to evolve my shiny Kranidos. is a weird feeling. It's a scary thing to let it evolve because then I have to spend a lot of money and rebreed it to be able to get it down again, but it's what I want to do. I love Rampardos. It's a great shiny. It's going to be incredible. I'm excited to have it. I'm excited to see the follower sprite. It's a weird feeling. Now we have Rampardos. No longer are we shiny Cranidos. Been 17 months for this shiny. I think it looks way better as Rampardos, honestly. I'm actually, I, I was like, you're like, you always doubt a little bit, but like, dude, like the collar and stuff on him, dude, yeah. And like his, dude, no, I actually love this. This looks way better, actually, in my opinion. I was kind of worried I wouldn't like the follower sprite as much. No, I love Rampardos way more. I'm actually so relieved. I'm so relieved and so happy. I so much prefer this. That is awesome. Dude, look how good the, the battle sprite is as well. It's so big. No, I, okay, I'm so glad I did this. I'm actually so glad I trained my Cranidos prior to Johto. I'm, this is, this looks, this is like a really satisfying thing to see. 17 months on this bad boy and I can finally use him in a pragmatic way is, is, is pretty fucking cool. No way. I hadn't heard about that. No one told me this. Drought Ninetales is now in the game. Holy shit. That's a massive, massive deal. We now have two sunsetting Pokemon. That's a crazy big deal. Holy. I, wow. Hidden ability nine tails. Yeah. When was that? How did I miss that? We've had, so alpha Tyranitar, alpha nine tails. Alpha nine tails is probably a gorgeous Shalfa on top of it. That's nuts. I'd expect Polito to drop soon. I don't, I don't, I don't think Drizzle Politoed would be like too broken. I think Pelipper is probably just better. Um, anyways, so like, yeah, I could see that happen. That'd be really interesting. That's a, yeah, that's a really good call, Tino. And hello, what's up? How are you doing? That's, that's, that's so exciting to see new weather setters. It'd be really interesting if any of them like end up in NU or any, like, we'll definitely see like UU, but Alpha Ambipom, what hidden ability does Ambipom have? Hopefully nothing good because Ambipom is already so good and so annoying. I hate competitive, as, I'm an, I'm an Ambipom abuser. Skill link hidden ability. No way. That's actually really good. That actually... Maybe I'm dumb. That actually seems... Or was it tech... Did it already have... I think it had technician, but didn't have still link. That's actually, like, really good. Alpha Apom beat my ass. That Pokemon is 
like if you ever played against it in pvp and like it's way too strong for nu but sometimes it drops to nu and it's so insane there it's way too strong for the tier okay i get to use, I get to use my squirt bottle finally best item finally doesn't like it pseudo give me a sh is it a gift if this could be shiny that'd be awesome i love shiny pseudo -wood. it's a pretty rare one 52,500 encounters clean is pretty nice. We'll go ahead and destroy this guy with Rampardos. He's so good, dude. It's very possible we actually see an alpha Heracross swarm like soon with the Johto update and we might get Moxie Heracross soon. That'd be a pretty big deal. That'd be pretty game changing in my opinion for like storyline runs. Like I think Heracross is already wildly underrated for storyline runs. I don't talk about it enough. I probably should. Guts Heracross is very good, but like moxie hair grass would be like even better swords dance or bulk up plus like insane you know coverage cc spam it's so good i think the new yeah it says the day now instead of just the time i think this matters for um is it the ho no it's the sino safari zone right the sino safari zone okay we're now in the new town in ecroteach city but i think we're supposed to head west now so let's check it out we get hm strength from walking into this big buff hiker guy okay good storytelling okay now we go back west there also should be a rare candy hidden in the town i wonder if it'll actually be in pokemon as well i think it should be right here it might just not be in the game headbutt tree is interesting I think there's supposed to be like a, a, a rare candy here. I don't. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Whew. Nailed it. First try. Okay. It's onto the Burns Tower, which is pretty cool, actually. This is a very, very cool location in the game. Like, we even see the dogs here. It's one of the coolest locations of the game. It's very, very, very cool. We have a rival fight right here, I believe. Yep. The music change is so good. The music in, in Johto is so. The music and the vibes. The aesthetic is phenomenal. Okay, the uh, rival fight was an absolute cakewalk. Now I need to go here and scare these guys away, right? Oh, poof. There they go. This guy's kind of wholesome. I do kind of love that this guy just like loves the legendary Pokemon. Like he just like really, I don't, it's just, it's kind of cute. He's, he's a passion, a passion project king. Is that really it for the burn tower for now? So I head out of here and I go over to like the kimono place. I told, I've, dude, I literally just did this storyline and I feel like I forget everything i i have to play a storyline like 50 times before i remember it like i feel like i've only storyline i remember the only one i remember is like unova and kanto because i've played them just so many times like 10 times plus i do think johto is one of the better storylines like in pokemon it's 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 surprisingly fun um i'm just tired and i did it during the P pts pretty recently excuse me so i'm not like super hyped up this time to play it i'm just kind of trying to get through it and have fun and do stuff like the voltorb flip voltorb flip was honestly a blast at I say that, but it was torture, but like it was, I'm glad I did it is what I'm trying to say. It's cool to have those side goals alongside doing the storyline. I should have XP all along, so I'm at level tap. I, yeah, I'm, I'm wasting XP here, honestly. Let me turn on my reamplifier for sure. There we go. Perfect. We get HM Surf from this as well. Okay, easy peasy. Okay, it's fourth gym time, fellas. Let's go. We've got Crunch for this, honestly, on our Rampardos, which would be super nice as well. I feel like this is the one that's spooky. Yep, very spooky, Jim. See how this goes. Can confirm your mom will send you back uh, from Johto now. Nice. I know that was like glitched or whatever before. So that's that's a good little bug fix that people can go back to other regions if they want to now. Who would ever even want to leave Johto? Shake my head. Me, smiley face. I need to do gym runs. I'm poor. <laughs> yeah, fuck. People going back to do gym runs day one. That's actually, that's actual gym run jail. If you're leaving Johto to go do a gym run, you're, that's actual jail, holy. All right, is this the, the gym leader? Leader Morty, Ms. Drevious Pog. This is the easiest gym battle in the whole world. I'm literally just spamming crunch and just one-shotting everything. Rampardos is such a fun storyline Pokemon. I am surprisingly just loving this. That's awesome. All right, level 37, the new Max Obedience. Get the fog badge from Morty. We're halfway done, kind of, fellas. That's, like, secretly, like, one of the best parts of the Johto update is, like, being able to buy, like, thousands of an item at once. Like, being able to buy, like, thousands of Lepa Berries at once. Like, you can just buy enough Lepas for a full shiny hunt in one purchase. Like, look at this. 1,600 Lepas on that listing. That's nuts. I do want to buy a bunch of Lepas, honestly. I'm at 11 mil. I'm just total... Like, look at this. 9k Lepas. Here, let's go to the PC. I actually want to buy some Lepas. I've been, I've had no Lepas forever. 
I honestly haven't done too much in terms of like money making and economy during Yodo. I arguably should have been doing more. So I have 655 Lepas there. I'm at 11 mil cash. How much would this be for like these 5k? 4 mil. That's like more than a shiny hunt though. That's so much money. I can't do that. I don't want to do that much. Um, do I just want to do like a thousand Lepas? That'd be what? Four, three, five? Math? 1100. I literally cannot do math. <laughs> okay, anyways. 1100 Lepas. Ah, oh, what a clean stack, Keck W. Okay, next. Do we just go southeast? Is that the meme? Do I just go this way? That's where Worcester goes in his record. Pick up these apricorns. We got three free apricorns. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Wait, they said it was a random encounter? Sweet Queen was random? I definitely thought it would be static. Is it like the roaming dogs? That'd be really, really interesting. I'm, I'm, we just don't really know how Sweetcoon's been implemented yet, it seems like. That's so strange. You have to move Sweetcoon on the island to different parts of the map, then encounter it at M Mount Silver to make it an encounter. You were the person who showed us the sprite earlier, so you actually have Sweetcoon in game, so that makes sense. That's so crazy. Wow. Okay, so you just go turbo southeast. I want to try to... I think I can dodge this guy. If I go, Yeah, if I go down right there. Okay, I can dodge that trainer. And you just head east over here. Okay, perfect. Okay, I shouldn't be following his route. I need to be doing... Okay, what I need to be doing is following a glitchless route. I'm being an idiot by trying to follow, like, a Worcester speedrun, and it's not working. Let me follow the, the, glitchless, the glitchless one. Because he's, like, glitching through the map, and I obviously can't follow that. Okay, I'm back at... I teleported back to Ecritique. What I'm supposed to do is actually head west. I'm such a... I'm such a dingus. Okay, head west. We're, we're gonna go over to Olive City. Gross. But we have to do it, so... Over to Olive City we go, fellas. I should go up here and just repel the best route. Pop my little vanity every time I can. I earned it. Uh, do I keep heading? I'm sure I ignore all these Pokeballs. I really don't care. This guy's going to stop me for quite a bit of dialogue. Look at all the mill tanks dancing here. Heaven. Er, Pat, sorry to tell you this, but mill tank hordes unlock after the 8th gym. <sighs> okay, that's, okay, that's honestly fine. So what I'll probably just do is I'll probably just beat the whole game the storyline and then hunt for for mill tank i would have loved to do it before but i mean honestly i mean i don't know that honestly is probably better oh is this the trainer with six pikachus is that the meme come on show me your next one so many xp things ah what a loser man electric mouse more like a cringe okay the new hat isn't limited time it's really cool though wait what's really really cool about the hat is that it's the first purple vanity it's the first PVE reward vanity, which is really, 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 really cool, which implies they're going to add more PVE vanities in the future, which is nuts. That's really, really cool. Because if you just head south from here, you'll just run into Olive Town, the grossest town in the game, but still important. This is another rival fight? I feel like I've had like eight rival fights already. Okay, now he's just pissed. What a grumpy guy. Okay, next we go up here. The lighthouse. Ah, yes, of course, the lighthouse. Actually, I remember this in the in the in the storyline or whatever. Okay, the stairs. I remember doing the lighthouse in the PTS. Okay, I have to battle a bunch of trainers. They should be pretty easy though. This is a very elitist opinion. I am kind of okay with them. Like, imagine if they like added like a really rare horde, like shuckle horde. For like, imagine if they added a shuckle horde at like the end game of Johto. But it was only available for like the first five days of Johto. And then after that, they removed it from the game. I'd actually be okay with that. Maybe that's like a very elitist take. I think it's very, I think it's interesting to like reward players with like the ability to get a pretty rare shiny in like the easiest way times five hordes for like a limited period of time or like limited hordes being available. I think that's very, very interesting. Kind of a weird take. I don't know if it's right, but it's kind of fun, spicy. Yeah, it should definitely be announced first. They should definitely say, oh, like, uh, you know, Shuckle Hordes will exist for the first five days of Johto. Like, good luck. Like, I think it should definitely be, like, announced. That's definitely true. Um, I think that'd be, like, super interesting. Dude, I didn't realize they added a Horsey Horde at World Islands. That's a big deal. Holy shit. Being able to hunt for Kindra and stuff now is way different. That's pretty insane. They should announce something that only one player can get when a new region releases that is tradable. Like, the first... I... I fucking love and i wish they did this maybe they did not it wasn't online i like if they did like a server announcement dude 
this kind of thing is like the coolest thing in MMO. This is like one of the coolest thing. Everybody agrees. This is one of the coolest things in all of MMOs, but I feel like MMOs don't do it for like, I don't, I don't know if it's like hard to code or what, but like having server announcements, like X person was the first person to defeat Johto. Like it just happened or like X person was the first person to like get a shiny in Johto. Like having those server announcements would be so cool and hype. Like it's like uh in the in the anime king's avatar one of the only like one of the only pieces of media that made video games not cringe and portrayed them as not cringe they have like those server announcements and it's like one of the coolest things runescape 3 does that yeah it is literally one of the coolest things to see like an mmo's chat and server announce like x person just got like this really really rare drop or x person just like did this world first um that stuff is really 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 cool are Larvitar hordes exclusive to national decks completionists? I think they might be. If so, I think that's totally okay to lock that behind a long-term task. I promise I'm not saying that. So yeah, no, I think that's based. I think like having a really crazy reward, like a times five horde for a rare Pokemon, a rare shiny like Larvitar, if you complete all elite fours and all like your entire Pokedex, I think that's a, re I think it's a totally reasonable. I, I like, I like that. I'm down for that. That's cool. Pokemon needs more like long-term rewards for its players like more reward there are so many players that put like ten thousand hours into pokemon which is absurd right um and there's not there's not enough like extreme rewards for those end game players i think like people always say there's like not enough to do in pokemon i think the real meme is there's not enough rewards for end game players there's a lot to do there's not always a lot of uh external reasons to do those things there's a lot of internal reasons to make you know you happy and chase things right and have goals but if you don't have if you don't if you don't have those personal goals um there's not that many external goals within the game or external rewards, excuse me, to like actually help you chase those goals or set those goals. Here, we finally made it to the top of the lighthouse. Got to talk to this girl and help her get the like medicine for her Ampharos, right? I think that's the meme. Okay, time to go surf, fellas. I'm going to go take a dip. Not this way, this way. Take a swim in the ocean. We got to dodge any trainers if possible. Is this, is this guy even a trainer? This guy's a trainer, it looks like. I will have to come back and grab, like, the super rods and stuff at some point, because I've totally been missing them, and they're, like, actually important, you know? So he goes like this, and then weaves to the left to dodge most trainers. I need to pop a repel, of course. Okay, so if I hug this rock wall, I should, there's, a, there's a swimmer that goes back and forth here. Yeah, there. I, I forgot to pop a repel. Oh, goofy. Worcester's, Worcester's pathing in this video is absurd. I'm not going to be able to... Yeah. <laughs> w, fuck! His pathing here is crazy. I have to like back up and go slow. So I just go down here and then weave past her. Whew, okay, we made that one at least. And then go, I keep forgetting to pop a repel. How do I keep forgetting? Okay, so apparently the reward for beating red is 320k Pokeyen and 25k BP. Like even if he's like really hard, even if he's not that hard, even if you could just blast through red super easily, that reward alone is pretty much your reward for like doing all the elite fours in the game and uh, doing all the Pokedex. Like, e like, even if he's, like, super easy, like, that reward, I mean, it makes sense, right? If you, Can you refight Red is a really interesting question. Does that get weaved into, like, gym run and stuff? Yeah, like, a 100% richest charm would make it, like, 500k. That's, that is an insane question. I would assume you can't refight. That, that would be pretty economy breaking slash scary. Trainer Red fight is weekly. Do we already know that? Dude, the information people are finding out is crazy. You can fight red weekly. So we have a new weekly task, essentially. Everyone should probably do that, right? You probably should like start your gym rerun with like a red fight from now on. Dude, that's gonna be an insane like change to everybody's oh, it's so crazy. That's so interesting. Yodo is changing the game in every fucking aspect. I it's so funny. I people I would get all these comments like Oh, like, what is Johto actually adding to the game? Like, you know, we already have the Pokemon. What could it actually be adding? It changes fucking everything, dude. Money making, PvP, PvM, PvE, like, what you do in the game on a daily and weekly basis, hourly basis. It changes everything. Shiny hunts. It's crazy, man. It's crazy how much Johto affects the game, and people just didn't. And I, and I understand, like, the skepticism, but you've got to think about it on your own a little bit and it's 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 nuts how much this is like changing the game like this is literally like pokemon mode 2.0 like it's as dumb as it is like it's, it's like a whole new era more so of pokemon like 2023 plus pokemon is gonna be like remembered in history as, as, a, as a new era which is super crazy nine tails got themselves a shiny ditto that's beautiful route 47 single encounter in johto first johto shiny two times 31 shiny ditto is gorgeous congrats to nine tails that's awesome 
day two of Johto. That's so sick. Two times 31. Congrats to him. That's so sick. Also, it's like a perfect competitive Shiny Ditto, right? Because it's 31 HP. That's sick. No way. Brendan got Larvitar, dude. Mount Silver Cave. Is this the first? It, it might not be, but it's one of the first. One of the first for sure Shiny Larvitars in Pokemon from Johto. Dude, congratulations to you, man. That is really fucking interesting. That is nuts. I think I just go directly into the gym now. Okay, let's head into it. Let's game. You sold a single Alpha Tyranitar for 14 mil? Dude, you're an absolute businessman. There's no way they're above like 2 mil now. You're a, you're a fucking businessman, dude. That's crazy. Congratulations to you, man. That's so sick. I truly feel like, and I'm curious, you guys can disagree or have your own opinions. Please, please, please. Like, I want people to disagree with me. Um, I feel like it was hyper worth it. Like, I feel like the wait for Johto, all of the extra features they've been able to add day one, which I didn't think I would care about. I'm not one to care about, like, side activities and stuff in Pokemon storylines. So I want to get through to the end to get to the grinding. Um, I've been really surprisingly enjoying, like, I did the Voltorb thing and, like, all, and, like, all the, it's like for the Red Battle and, like, Apricorns and... I'm enjoying it, man. I'm, I'm I'm pretty shocked at how much they've added day one and how smooth it's been going. I don't know. It's pretty cool. That's absolutely true. They still need to up their communication. Yeah, it's no excuse for the lack of communication. I don't I don't want to. You know, I'm not gonna you know go that far for sure. They definitely should have communicated. That's unacceptable. But um, I'm I think Jodo's is is pretty good. Is what I'll say. Pretty fantastic. It's a pretty incredible update. I feel like. I, the Pokemon devs have almost never released an update and me be like, damn, like this update is bad. Every single time you have to wait for an update and you have to like be patient and stuff and like whatever, you know, whatever, assume charitability. But when it comes, it's always so good. It's always a phenomenal update and they really, really know what they're doing. Okay, I think I remember this gym leader being really easy. Uh, we'll see if I regret those words. This is where you get waterfalls. How many gym badges do I have? Only four? I only have four? How am I so behind? What? That's a crazy thing to think about. Johto's only been out for 16 hours. Because it released at midnight, around midnight last night. And it's 4 p.m. now. Johto's only been out for 16 hours. That's pretty nuts. I actually did not really realize that. That's crazy. Wait, that's true. It's technically day one still. So I can still go for a day one Johto shiny. Wait, that's Giga Brain. Okay, it's been the closest gym battle so far. Um, I think I still win. I just go Porygon Z and Psybeam, I think. That was, like, shockingly close, though. 44%. Doesn't kill. But I should be Citrus Berry. I mean, a big CC is a Brick Break that kills me. This is going to be close. My Sandile's weak to, weak to the, the Brick Break as well. This is going to be really close. I could go for, like, Smoke Screen strats with Kalava or just go for damage is it ever worth to go for smoke screen here i don't think so i feel like i just go sand dial i feel like i go sand dial go for like a dig yeah i outspeed go for a dig and then bring in Kalava afterwards to like ember or quick attack 37 percent revive strat i could revive if i really really need to as well that one shots me i feel like it might be worth to revive here or something Does Brick Break kill me? Is this like Choice Band? I'm level 23. I feel like I have to. Re I feel like I have to cheese revive strats here. It's kind of cringe. Do I just revive? I think I just revive Rampardos. Actually, no. The safe play is Gyarados because it can't come with Brick Break, and then I just I have to tackle it to death, which is so funny. I think the play is actually Gyarados. Um. Then I get Intimidate off as well, which is really good. Yeah, Brick Break did one-shot me. Oh, it crit. Okay. Well, it would have crit, so I'm... Okay, I'm really glad. <laughs> Woo! Petrowski luck. Really glad I revived. Got to avoid those uh, those crits, Kek W. It might not have mattered. I should be super safe here. Me tackling this thing to death is hilarious, but I need moves on my Gyarados. Woo, there we go. Not even close. First try. Easy peasy, Jim. Form badge. Pod. Five gym badges. Wait, we finally got fly. Oh, that's so sick. Can we actually fly? Do we need more gym badges or are we good? Can we actually fly now? That's so, so comfy and nice. Can I just fly? Woo! Okay, that's a huge W. That's awesome. Beautiful. The music at this location is so good. I don't usually love, like, relaxing music, but this is, like, actually good. Actually comfy. 
Cyan Wood City. Oh, I'll, I'll remember that. It's been a long 16 hours, and you know what? I'm kind of just hanging out, processing, enjoying the, the song, the vibes. Cherishing this time in Pokemon history. A region release is a pretty cool thing, and it's a really, really cool thing to be able to stream it and, and go through it with so many of you guys. Apricorns grow back? I believe so. I think it's like 20. I don't know if it's like a day or what. Look on your total dial, catch farce. It's a cool experience, man. And it's a nuts milestone. I think this might be a good time to um, end this stream and end this video for now. And I will come back later in a couple hours. Take, take a little rest. There's plenty of time to cover all the information regarding Johto. And I'm, and I'm doing a lot. And I'm... I'm loving every second of it. I'm very tired throughout the whole process, but like I'm really enjoying. I'm way less irritable, honestly. Like I feel way less rushed. I'm re I'm really enjoying the official release of Johto much more than the PTS because I feel so much less rush rushed. Feel so much less rushed, and I'm like I don't know. I'm just, I'm loving it. So it's so much fun, and I'm having a fun time, and I'm less grumpy, less irritable, and besides vaults were flipped, that shit sucked. But I'm 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 having fun. I'm excited. There's a lot to do still, but um. I'm yeah, I'm having fun. I'm gonna, take a, I'm gonna take a little like break while I export videos and stuff, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Make sure that if you did enjoy today's stream or video, make sure to leave a like on it. it helps out tremendously with the algorithm. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon videos. Every single day I upload streams, usually Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. ET, but obviously stream schedule is pretty interesting right now during Johto. Discord's linked down below if you care about that. And if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, YouTube memberships, Twitch primes, Twitch subs, and PayPal slash Venmo donations go a very, very long way in allowing me to make content, make more videos, make longer streams, etc., etc. So thanks so much for watching watching have a great day and i hope you have fun playing pokemon today hope you enjoy johto and i hope my content has been a positive asset to your day have a good one i'll see you guys later peace hey thank you so much for watching until the very end of the video hopefully it was a positive asset on your day in some way and thank you to everyone's name who's on this list who is a massive positive asset to my day every single day i appreciate you all thank you for going above and beyond and allowing me to do what i do all right yo what's up petrowski here i didn't expect to be recording again so soon but I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, this is actually going to be the beginning of day two, quote unquote, of Johto's sort of progress videos and storyline and everything. But it's actually technically the end of day one still. Um, it's 1020 p.m. on August the 12th as I'm recording this. And um, day two, I guess the game Johto released around uh, 22 hours ago. It hasn't even been a full 24 hours yet. Um, and I've been just putting out so much content and streaming so much and I was pretty exhausted i'm gonna be totally honest with you guys i was absolutely exhausted and uh slept four and a half hours last night and was up super long the day before and then uh i what happened was i ended up just kind of ending stream early today and i just ended up relaxing and kind of just laying in bed watching youtube and taking a little bit of a rest because i just really desperately needed it i ended up taking a one hour nap and i wake up and i feel pretty good it's, it's it's you know it's just so nice to sometimes take that little break and come back reinvigorated ready to actually work and excited to make progress and uh move forward with my goals within pokemon so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna go live here and stream for a couple hours it's 10 20 p.m like i said just stream for like two hours or something before bed um and then be able to relax and everything and go to bed at a reasonable time and get a nice eight hours of sleep dude so many things have happened it's really cool i do feel like the voltorb hat matches the rampardos like surprisingly well yeah the hat's permanent once you unlock it you've got it forever i do also want to go quickly collect i sold a uh a bit of xp candies 1.1 million pokeyen right there the cool thing with those i think i made a clip of them before i bought those xp candies for 400 pokeyen and sold them all for 4.6k each that was pretty insane i want to see you do the the red battle i would really like to but i'm so far i still am like, what five gym badges and everything what's the hat it's the voltorb flip vanity gamer let's go check out what worster is up to in his uh his guide and we'll uh follow along and make some storyline progress before bed I bet it's Lake of Rage time, isn't it, actually? I think that might be what it is. I think I, I think I remember going to this after Olive and everything. I feel like I remember these g these gyms being some of the quicker ones as well within the game during the PTS. We're going to buy the three vanities whenever I can, whenever I feel comfortable like spending the Pokemon and stuff. I think I can just surf here and start heading on over and do the Ampharos to grab the secret pot and do the Ampharos. Wait a minute. I'm getting help from chat. I don't know if I did. I don't think I did those things. Good shout. Okay, I've got to watch Worcester carefully and not be a silly goose. I'm just, I mean, I'm honestly, I'm just chilling. So let's head back to this town. I think it's right here in this little house. 
in this little house right here. Okay, I can't walk into it. Keck W. Gotta talk to this guy. And I think he gives me the little pot. And then I can go give this to the Ampharos to heal up the nice little sheepy boy. Okay, I came back to the lighthouse in Olive City. I think this might be the right place to be, but I could be incorrect. We're gonna take an elevator all the way up to the top and go heal this little Ampharos. Okay. Breathing slide. Do I have to give it to the trainer? The messenger Amphi. Yup, yup, yup. Give it to him. Please don't be, yada, yada. Oh, yeah, we have to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Good call, chat. So, we have to heal the Ampharos to be able to do this gym, right? Okay. We'll be able to... I think... I remember these gyms being, like, really fast. Like, it's taken a while to get gym 5, but I feel like these, like, next couple gyms end up being really fast. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This city just had its gym open up. Okay, Olive City just opened up its gym. Here we go. The Steel Gym. I remember this one actually being pretty difficult, I feel like. Go for it. Okay, Pog. I feel like this was, was this the one gym that I lost to during my PTS playthrough? I think it might have been. I think it might have been the one that I lost to. I will say Rampardos is pretty terrible here, unfortunately. I really wish my Gyarados knew more moves. I don't know why I didn't end up... I get D-Dance at 36. Do I not have Crunch on this thing? I don't know how I missed Crunch on my Gyarados. I don't know how that was possible. I think I must have I must have missed it in some way. I, I don't know. Um or waterfall. Like I didn't I didn't get the option to learn crunch or waterfall on my Gera. I wonder if that's a glitch or something. I didn't have the option to learn waterfall or crunch on my Gera in Johto. I don't know I don't know how that's possible. Was it because of XP reamplifier or something? I've I've never had those um move learning messages. Okay, I'm gonna do something really funny here. I think I'm gonna use XP candies on my Primeape to get him to level 39 and then then he'll learn close combat and he can just spam close combat and that's gonna like essentially obliterate my whole way through this gym like cc close combat primate spam is just gonna be insane i feel like that's gonna carry me through the gym i should be pretty safe to do that because my rampardos just isn't that good here do i have brick break or something as a tm i might be able to teach it or something as well that might be worth doing over chip away Okay, to be fair, yeah, I didn't know. I actually never get Earthquake on my Rampardos naturally. And I'm definitely going to teach it that anyway one day for competitive. So it's actually not a waste if I just go ahead and use Earthquake now on this on Chipaway. Okay, that's going to help this gym a ton. And it's also just worthwhile for me to go ahead and... It's not, it's not even like a waste because I just need to learn that eventually. So, okay, this team should be pretty good. I feel pretty happy with this. Uh, CC spamming primate with rampardos as well i don't know which to lead like which is gonna be better uh we'll start with rampardos and see how this fight goes like this is perfect because dude wait rampardos is perfect here because i'm mold breaker and i don't think it really matters i mean i can if q through any sturdies and stuff the so four times weakness magneton has to, to ground that's pretty easy peasy so this like obviously can't eq and i am choice banded so i do have to make a switch here i probably just switch over to something like anything that could like a swap i could go port on z I kind of want to keep I'll just go Gyarados to essentially stall a little bit and then I might go Porygon Z for like actual T wave or utility this fight is actually going to be pretty hard uh because I really want to get Rampardos in against Steelix but then if I EQ into Steelix he might just go over to Skarmory like EQing against this is going to be really really good because if I it kills and breaks sturdy so it stays in let's see if this one shots this might not one shot though as well 21% he just fucking one-shot my Rampardos. Wait, I got fucking owned. Oh, no. Why is this the hardest gym in Johto? It's actually so funny. I feel like I, I literally lost to this gym on the PTS as well. It's really funny that this ends up being, like, the hardest gym in Johto. That's so interesting. Uh, I can go Primeape here. I go for CC, and then even if, uh, what's it called? I'm fine. Okay, the Fortress explodes on me, taking my Primeape out, but also itself. I think I can... Can I 1v1 Porygon, like, Storm with Porygon Z? I'm so underleveled below it. I, it's going to be really close, if I can at all. Um, I wonder if it's worth to... I wonder if it's worth to T-Wave. I'm going to shoot a T-Bolt. I feel like I need the damage. I feel like like this Pokemon... Two, I should two-shot it. Yeah, 72%. And I feel like... Oh, I also just get the... <laughs> I just get the... Ooh! 
Outskilled. Okay, easy peasy gym. Not even close. It's pretty crazy that this is consistently the gym I've had this like the same issue with. If I just crit turn one, wow, dude, that was okay. That was crazy lucky. The para hacks on the T bolt into into the uh, crit second turn was pretty nuts. It didn't really matter the the crit or whatever, but that that was that was nuts. Easy peasy. Wow. Okay, that gym taken care of. Now we're at six badges, forty one max obedience level. Let's see what's up next. Okay, I think it might actually be Lake of Rage time next which is kind of funny i do need to level up my porygon z drastically though let's head over to this location i probably should be using these um trainer battles to train up my porygon z while i can i'm, I'm gonna have to use xp candies on it anyway okay sandile evolution pog that's kind of cool to see haven't really been focusing on using him that much at all pretty much all like pokedex challenges are always complete caught decks in pokemon like that's like the the thing that matters is caught ot this guy's name is team aqua member and he's doing the full the full rp it looks good. Fair enough. Yeah, people who already completed the Pokedex get to, like, hard brag. And they deserve it. Honestly, if you did that, like, ahead of time, just, just because out of, like, a completionist, you know, compelling, like, that's honestly pretty based. More power to you. Let me turn XP Reamplifier off and actually put an XP share on my Porygon Z or just lead with my Porygon Z to actually be able to focus and, like, funnel XP into that. I'm trying to figure out the path I should take. Do I just keep going east? I think that might be the meme. I'm just trying to get to Lake of Rage, I think, now. Is there a gym here as well? Okay, so now we're in Mahogany Town. Okay, I feel like this gym is pretty easy to just do. I already have six badges. Okay, I'm much farther along than I realize. It feels like I'm not that close to being done, hilariously, but I think I'm actually doing better than I think. Okay, I can't battle this right yet until, uh... Okay, I need to go talk to Lance, do Lake of Rage. I'm a little worried for the Gyarados fight. I think I need to just really level up my, uh... My Porygon Z ahead of time. Do I have a Sweet Scent? Can I just like Sweet Scent train on the Lake of Rage water? Maybe that's worth doing instead of XP candies. But do I really care about the Pokeyen spent on XP candies? Wait, this is Route 43. I feel like this route had an important... Wait, is this the Flaffy slash Mareep spot? Is that why Kiroshi's here? Are they shiny hunting? Yes! That's nice. Good luck, good luck, dude. Drafford Flaffy? Yeah, this is the Times 5 4 Drafford Flaffy spot. It's a really, really cool spot. Wait, no way. You're trolling. You're saying there's an Alpha Mill tank? No way. Is it is it actually my is my first alpha? Is my first alpha in Johto gonna be a Mill tank? <laughs> For Shalpha, more like. Dude, wait, that's so exciting. Oh, I hope so, man. That's so exciting. 85% chance to hit into like what I don't know if it's 50% or 30% chance to lower accuracy into another muddy water into another hit into a crit. Kick W boys, unlucky. Okay, I have to go catch this mill tank alpha. Are you kidding me? My first Johto alpha is gonna be mill tank. That's wickedly exciting. Let's heal up and get whatever Pokemon we can. Wait, this fucking location is so perfect. Look at this. Oh, and I can like single check all the mill tanks. The mill tank spawns beat the mill tank alpha spawn being here is so cute. But I can put drain punch on my. Did this learn that? Probably not. This is really cute. Okay, let's shalfa check, fellas. Fifty-two thousand five hundred and nine encounters right here. Dinner status and shiny charm. No alpha or no shalfa. But we're gonna try to catch this alpha. Okay, I feel like it's gonna be pretty scary. Um, I don't want to one shot it. If I kill it, I can just come back, right? That's not an issue. I think I just Iron Head. Body Slam is 59%. Iron Head did 12%. What? Okay, I fucked up apparently. This thing is way stronger than I expected. Oh no, did I mess up? I made a huge mistake. How is this? Th is this supposed to be like an average? Why is this thing so much higher level than all my Pokemon? It's a Giga Tank. It has rest. I wanted to be careful and like not hit it too hard, but maybe that was stupid. Oh no! And my Gyarados has terrible moves. I can intimidate spam it, but I don't know if it really matters. I'm getting bodied. This isn't even close. I can spam like ch like Choice Band, DC Stab Primate. It's faster than me. Like this has to do absurd damage. Only 30% damage. Are you kidding me? For choice band stab, adamant primate, EV, not EV train, Kek W, but 
that's pretty insane dude look at this pathetic damage seven percent seven percent from a mild porygon z ev trained 31 special attack what is happening what is this pokemon that's absurd okay is my best bet just to like stall for 10 turns Do, should i just spam should i just spam um timer balls now that it's now that it's putting itself to sleep is that my best bet <laughs> i don't know how else i catch this thing well <sighs> salute rest in peace soldiers we try again yeah i think the strat is just to abuse a ghost type pokemon i'm pretty sure it literally only has body slam as an attacking move so I think you just abuse that. I'm going to use the shiny charm that Kiroshi so graciously gifted me with to encounter the other mill tanks really quick via single encounters and then do the, the alpha after. You can't spore it because of sap. I'm an idiot. I, someone said it at sap server, but I'm stupid and forgot that you can't spore it. Oh, that was dumb of me, but damn. Oh, that stinks. I probably should have quick balled turn one and two. I'm getting dumpstered. I mean, I still have dust clops in the back. That's my like secret strat. Like I should be fine with that. Uh, I, I literally can't hit it with anything is the issue here. I just try to lower it as much as possible, I guess, and then go to swaps and spam timers. I think I'm, I'm, I'm objectively going to catch it eventually, right? It just, it just depends on how many timer balls <laughs> it's going to take with the dust lops. It literally can't damage me on dust lops. I just feel like it's not worth it. Like, I literally, I literally just used, like, 30 timer balls or something. Yeah, I, I actually, like, I actually just sat there and timer balled this thing for, like, 15 minutes. And didn't catch anything. So I feel like it's just not... I think I just let the mill tank go, sadly. It's just so cursed. Catch it, you coward. <laughs> okay, well now I kind of want to, based. Okay, <laughs> after no time wasted, let's head back over to that Chalfa Gyarados fight. What do you guys think? You guys, switch to channel 19. Or no, channel 1 from 19, because it's full here. It's the Lake of Rage fight, fellas. Oof. Here we go. Opera rappel to get to it. I should go ahead and XP candy. Or actually seeing it in the water, dancing around and stuff is is really cool. Oh shit! I actually okay, I actually had no idea this thing learns discharge. That's actually really, really good. I just do that over Thunderbolt, I think, which is kind of funny, but discharge is really, really good. The 30% chance to era is so good. That's actually so nice. Okay, that's actually so good. Getting that right before the Gyarados fight is incredible. How does the like how does the Lake of Rage Gyarados work? You know what? I can just go ahead and show you, gamer. Let me put on choice specs on this thing. It's just going to spam. So it is a... Shalfa boss battle. I want to make sure... You actually want to position your discharge Pokemon in the middle like this. If I remember correctly. Because I think it's... um, It's like a three-way fight. Or whatever. Does it matter with discharge? Yes. It, exactly. Rock slide. Discharge. This is kind of whatever. My prime is not great here. But I guess I could do dust clops. I guess. I... Eh, I don't really have a great... I'll just go... I don't have a great thing here, but... Let's go ahead and jump into it. Here it is. Yasha. The music is so good. Middle will hit your own mons. Discharge doesn't hit your own Pokemon. It's only against enemies. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Oh, it does hit your own Pokemon. Well, there you go. Petrowski noob. Oh, I must EQ'd as well. Kek W. Okay. This should be fine, though. I'm super okay with this. I'm super okay with hitting my own Mons. I paralyzed both of my own Pokemon, though. The 30% chance on both. That's a little rough. That's a little unfortunate. Well, I guess I paid for my mistake. <laughs> I mean, that was, that was, like, even though it's like, oh, um, that was, like, actually 100% my fault. Because that was, like... I was being stubborn. That was actually 100% my fault. But, uh... That was not RNG. That was 100% I paid for my choices. But, this boss fight is going easy peasy anyway. It shouldn't be an issue. We're actually, like, destroying him. Easy peasy, fellas. Uh, do I don't want to just go ahead and, like, curse or something, I guess? I have no idea. It'd be a pretty easy boss fight. Wait, you can't curse it? Curse doesn't affect it? <laughs> That's okay. I just spammed discharge with choice back to porygon z and i absolutely obliterated this thing so i should be pretty good and this discharge might kill right i think this might be the last one discharge plus lightning rod yeah that's giga brain that's actually yeah discharge plus two yeah thankfully it's pretty easy i think if you just have like a discharge mon like this like this i literally just spammed discharge with porygon z and this was an absolute breeze but 
this was yeah super easy easy peasy super good discharge is just so good for this i feel like if you have any discharge mod you probably should be good all right there we go easy peasy fellas this was really nice <laughs> Thanks, General Ram, for the for the random shiny charm. Literally just titled donation. Well, thank you so much, man. I, that was very, very unexpected. I really, really appreciate that, dude. Thank you so much. Okay, I made this mistake last time. I actually don't want to fly back. I want to go talk to Lance, right? I have to go talk to Lance and then go talk to him in town. And then I think I get the gym soon. There are stairs right here. Okay. Wait, we're fucking raiding this place? Og? I forgot about this entirely. Okay, so turning, pressing this computer, this shuts off all the Persians, like avoids all battles, essentially. That's so good. Well, okay, not this one. <laughs> Wait, this guy's role-playing, <laughs> kicking me out. Wait, that was awesome. More power to him. Crimson Kang, who are you? <laughs> Do I need to role-play back? <laughs> to pass? Um... He called me in for a meeting. <laughs> I love this guy. Down the stairs. Wait, <laughs> wait. Oh, we're fucking role playing, dude. What? <laughs> that was one of the best experiences I've ever had in Pokemon. <laughs> it's so dumb. That was awesome. I legitimately wouldn't have known where to go. Like, the funny thing is, like, he actually, like, directed me, like, in RP, but, like, it mattered. Like, I wouldn't have known where to go without that, which is why it's so funny. That's incredible. Oh, yeah, I remember. This guy's name is Petrol. No wonder he fucking steals Pokemon and works for Team Rocket. <laughs> Poor fucking guy. His parents actually named him that. Okay, I think this is Petrol. So here's the fight. Okay, this is definitely not him. I don't know why I thought this was the guy. This is just a, a grunt. Okay, kick W. How does this fight? Is this fight important for some reason? Because Worcester does this fight. Was just for XP? It might have been an important XP cat or XP checkpoint in the speed run. <laughs> so there's no reason for me to do that. Well, anyways. Okay, so the fight is over here. I believe. Yep. This person. I think is this petrol? I need these Pokeballs for sure. Yuck yuck. Oh, this is definitely petrol. Because he says yuck yuck. Okay, well, maybe not. He gave me the Raticate Tail was one of them. What are these Pokeballs? Can I just go grab these? Why do they, why do they seem so special? So, like, secretive. <laughs> Get it? Because it's special. What's this one? Protein? Okay, nothing. Now you can open the door to Petrol. Oh, okay. Trousty getting yucked, yucked live? Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, my boy Worcester goes northeast up here over to the stairs, then loops around left over here. Might be following a path once again that's only needed for the speed run, but it's a nice way to turn my brain off, so who cares? That's actually a really good question. The PvP stats tab isn't gone, it just got moved, but I could super understand that. So now it's just here. Instead of matchmaking sign up, now it's just, um, which I think makes a lot of sense because, like, it was crazy how many times I told people, like, yeah, PvP stats are in the What's game, up, you just have to go to matchmaking sign up and then go to this other thing. Okay, down the stairs we go, and then we come over here. Is this Petrol? Does Petrol look like Giovanni? Is that the meme? Who's stopping? Is this a rival fight right here? Oh, I actually remember this. I feel like this was really hard in the PTS, actually. It should be pretty easy, I feel like, here. Hopefully. Copium. Oh, wait. He's just angry. He didn't even fight me. Why is our rival so <laughs> angsty <laughs> in this game, dude? Okay, Ultra Ball Pog. Doors closed. Raticate Tail. And the other one. I don't know what it was. I remember. I feel like I fucked this up because I like walked up and I, I didn't expect him to insta battle. I wasn't ready for that. I remember doing this during the PTS. Ah, and he talks about looking like Giovanni, but it's Petrol. This guy is the worst person in all of Pokemon. We all agree, right? Okay, well, Petrol was an absolute nerd who got obliterated. His Murkrow, Hail Giovanni. Oh, you steal him, right? And use him for the voice? Okay, I have to chase down this bird now and like scare it. Yeah, here it is. Scare it over to the password place. All right, now we just go south and go down another set of stairs. We'll grab this. Why not? Password is Hail Giovanni. Burr, 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 burr. Okay, so I go left here, talk to the bird one more time, and then head north. And it should be right. He sits right here in the door. Perfect. Storyline expert pog. Why is this Espeon just here? Is that a storyline thing? What? 
Wait, what is this Espeon? Oh, it's someone else's. It's see how my Dustlops is there. It's someone else's. That's awesome. It's someone else's follower sprite when they got bumped back for this dialogue. That's hilarious. This is a boss battle or something. I'm pretty weak. I need to like heal my Rampardos and stuff. I should be fine. All right, there we go. Defeated. Defeated these guys. Took them out. Easy peasy. Lance's only plan for this, he was he looked for a off switch and then he was out of ideas and said let's kill the electrodes. <laughs> Un unironically the extent of his planning. This is kind of a hilarious strat, but I think I switch out choice band for choice scarf and then I use my Rampardos to just EQ all the electrodes and it should be pretty easy. I think I'll just one shot everything and outspeed. That should be really, really easy. Yeah, Electrode is one of those Pokemon that I always think has Levitate, but it doesn't. Even if it did, I have Mold Breaker. Um, but it's one of those one of those mons, you know? Similar to um like Magnezone. Magnezone, I always think this Pokemon has, has Levitate, but it doesn't. It has Magnapool and Sturdy. HM Whirlpool. There we go. Nice. Alright, then to exit, I think we'd go this way. There should be a teleporter we hit. Up one set of stairs. Teleporter. Bam. Easy peasy. Clearly game knowledge. Not following a video guide at all. I need to heal so bad. I actually had some... Some stairs there. Let me get um Choice Band back on my... Do I need Choice Band on this? Let's be honest. Like, should I just put, like, leftovers or something on it? Or, like... A hard Rock or something to increase... I probably don't need Choice Band. But it is nice. I don't know. We'll see. The role player is back. He asked me how my meeting was. Wait, I can't type. Ahem. Uh. It was good. Boss is happy. Smiley face. Fuck, this guy's like thanking me for my YouTube videos and being nice and I'm role playing with Crimson Kang. <laughs> It was good. Boss is happy. Hmm. If he's happy, I'm happy. Thanks, Chief. Oh, next up is straight up just the ice gym. Oh, shit. I'm being fucking harassed by my boy Barrels. Oh, that's so funny. Noob still didn't finish Johto. Not wrong. After stalling for content for quite a long time, I'm supposed to do this and then... Wait, I think I did the wrong thing. <laughs> Wait, what am I supposed to do? Worst there. Help me. Help. But I feel like this ice thing isn't supposed to be moved, but mine moved. Oh no. I feel like this isn't supposed to move, but mine moved. I couldn't stop it. That's a good question. Respawn timers on Apricorns? I think someone said six hours, but I could be wrong. So take that with a grain of salt. But I think I've heard six hours. People who have completed Johto already are fucking monsters. More power to you, Sniper Dragon. That's incredible, man. Congratulations to you. You guys are actual demons. I respect it. I don't think it's six hours. Mine didn't respawn that quick or I'm blind. It's very possible. I want to preface. I I try to qualify if I'm not sure on something. I don't know if it's six hours. So it's very possible it's not. So apologies if that's incorrect. I think this is supposed to be the path. Wait. No, I totally fucked this. Wait a minute. Go back. Worcester, tell me what to do. Hey, Worcester does this, but I don't know if this works for me. He does this and then goes here, but that pushes that. I don't know if I'm, is I'm tapping too much because of the movement, or if that's always going to get pushed. I don't know if you can avoid pushing that. Oh, wait a minute. Is that what I did wrong? Wait. Ah, I see. Gator brain. I just fucked up then. Wait, but then he pushes this to the side, and that doesn't work. What? Is the ice puzzle in Pokemon literally different? The path that I'm following, it literally, literally doesn't work. That's so weird. Move the ice. Do I have to move it to the right like that? Oh. Wait, this still doesn't. Dude, my brain is so smooth. Move the ice on the left so the ice in the middle will get locked up. Like this? Ahead of time? Okay. You're a genius. Ice is locked up. Oh, and then you do. Gig your brain. Gig your brain. But my Pokemon are all fainted, so I probably should. <laughs> Revive. <laughs> Let's revive my Rampardos and heal everything up. I have so many just normal potions from like pickups, like from random pickup uh, Pokemon farming, like here and there. Okay, I'm trying to choice ban again for this fight. I think I should be faster than everything, and I think I should do pretty insane damage to where I just like one shot everything. But let's see. 
The music for this is so good. Do I just EQ spam? Should I sort of like... Do I need to spam like Rock Slide for anything? For any... Scary stuff? Is this the seventh gym badge? Nice. I could just spam Iron Head the whole time, but will stuff resist that ever? I'm gonna go Iron Head and see what happens. I can push through any sturdies, which is super nice. We one shot Mammoth Swine, easy peasy. Iron Head Choice Band did 62, 64%. We got a flinch though. This, th this thing, like surfing in response, I don't know if it would have killed me. It might. Is that even my special defense? That surf might have killed me, but I, I, that's tough. Otherwise, actually, I should I should have just insta switched here. I, please flinch. I mean, that's fine. I I live actually. Um, I that was stupid of me. I should have insta switched over to um, Oregon Z or something here. Because this thing, this thing's defense level is just so astronomically high. And now it's dudong time. I also don't one shot, dude. Rampardos is getting body. I mean, still, it's, I'm still doing a ton of work with it. But uh, there you go. Rest in peace. He, he did a lot of work, honestly. He definitely carried this. Uh, poor Don Z can come in and just spam discharge and be good then. Dudon dead, easy peasy. Yeah, this is badge number seven for me. Which is number? Which is number eight? I'm, I'm trying to remember which. We'll do number eight tomorrow for sure. Same day for the video enjoyers. Uh, tomorrow for the stream enjoyers. <laughs> Both enjoyers. There we go. Easy peasy. That was a really really easy gym battle. Not gonna lie. Rampardos was phenomenal there. Punched a massive 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 hole. Level 46, obedience level increased. Glacier badge, that is 7 out of 8 for Johto, fellas. I'm really happy with that. Nice. Getting a call from Professor Elm. How easy, how difficult is the 8th gym to actually get to? Okay, next up is Radio Tower. Yeah, I still have to do Radio Tower for sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, the 8th gym is kind of a whole thing. I remember now. You have to go to like that underwater, not underwater, but that water type like temple with the dragon trainer that stuff is kind of a pain to get to yeah that's gonna be a good spot to call it tonight honestly we'll stop at the radio tower checkpoint in the speed run and everything that'll honestly be pretty uh pretty spot on perfect hey thank you so much for watching until the very end of the video hopefully it was a positive asset on your day in some way and thank you to everyone's name who's on this list who is a massive positive asset to my day every single day i appreciate you all thank you for going above and beyond and allowing me to do what i do all right, good morning. It is the start of the official start of day two. I did a little bit of day two progress last night. We got our Voltorb hats flexing. Um, I'm starting at this location, going down here. I have Radio Tower to do today, then eighth gym. I'm at seven gym badges. Radio Tower, I think there's like two parts of this Radio Tower sort of dungeon. And then I have to go do the eighth gym. I don't have to like follow her to this like underground dragon den as well. So I have to do that. And then. Um, which I think should unlock me Dratini shunting if I want to shunt there, which is pretty interesting. But I want to finish the storyline today. That'll be that'll be the main goal. Storyline should be done by the end of today for sure. Okay, so this guy helps you dress up in the Team Rocket fit. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And now that we're dressed up, we head over to this location in Goldenrod, the actual radio tower. Now we can start making our way up it. Oh yeah, I remember. He he busts our cover anyways, the meme, right? Like literally as soon as we dress up in Team Rocket. He just busts us anyway, so there's like no point. The rival in Johto is like the worst. This trainer has five eradicates. He's a rat trainer. <laughs> That's a good meme. Okay, up the stairs we go, and then you should be able to dodge this trainer, it seems like. Okay. Copying pathing, Pog. Okay, you can dodge this whole floor as well, just by looping around. Easy peasy. Is this where you get the master ball as well? So this is petrol, right? The fucking turbo. This is actually the turbo nerd. Petrol. Bro's named after gasoline. Pathetic. Unbelievable. The little swoopy hair. I haven't even talked about this, but I actually switched up my team a little bit. So I actually grabbed a Blaziken from my initial... This Blaziken? What is this Blaziken from? I was going to say it was from my initial Owen playthrough, but I don't think that's true. This is meta level 15. Is this just a wild door chick I use? I don't know, but I use it for I use it for some storyline. I forget where this came from. That's so weird. Um, I use this for some storyline, and I brought it over for this story level 46. And then I also grabbed this Rhyperior, like semi comp Rhyperior that I had in my boxes. Adamant, really good stats. Rock slide. It's a stealth rock, which, which would be nice. The EVs are weird as fuck. I actually just realized. Did I miss EV this? Because I don't know why I went 252. That makes no sense. I feel like this must have been Miss EV'd on accident. 
Did I buy it like this? No, it's my OT. Did I miss EV this? Because why the fuck? This definitely should be 252 um, attack or whatever. Did I just EQ into a Pokemon that has Levitate? Probably. I was thinking I was on my Rampardo still, which has Mold Breaker, but I'm not. I'm absolutely inting out here. I'm just going to set up Stealth Rocks and like Sacrifice, I guess. Okay, that 252 special defense EV training coming in handy for the <laughs> for the heat wave wheezing tank. That's so funny. Wait, learning tri attack on our Porygon Z is actually so good. Um, what do we teach it over? Because now we have stab finally. I, I really, really want to keep Thunder Wave if possible. I probably go over Psybeam, but it kind of but Psybeam is like kind of not bad, but it's so low base power and everything. I feel like we never clicked Psybeam over tri from this point on. I feel like we never clicked Psybeam over tri attack. I feel like we go tri yeah, tri deck is so good. Wait, that's actually such a funny mechanic. I just fucked myself. So I'm choice back to Porygon Z, and I leveled up, learned a new move, and I taught Tri Attack over Psybeam, which was the move I used with my choice specs. So now I have to struggle or switch. That's actually such a niche situation. That's very funny. I'm trying. To, I, I can't think of a single. People are at, like, how's Johto ask me the question, right? I can't think of a single negative thing to say about like the entire update, right? Um. I really can't. Yeah, wait, that's actually a fair one. I can't snipe GTL as easily. That's my one complaint. Yeah, people are saying you can't spam spacebar to refresh the GTL anymore, which is on it like a fair change slash complaint to make. Oh yeah, lag and performance issues. Yeah, I've had some PC lag and stuff, especially, right? Yeah, for sure. The staff are saying once your Suicune spawns, even if you white screen, like die or, or whatever, uh, it keeps the same stats for the next encounter. So it's not huntable. Let's make a new character. Yeah, that's what I, similar to Shaman. That makes sense. Okay, next we need to go over to this location. So we got to loop around. We healed up really quick. Loop around, go in here, and then follow more pathing. Okay, we got to walk in here and get stopped by a kimono girl. Pop. We head this way over to the basement. We go down some stairs coming up, it seems like. Oh, you're going too fast, Worcester. Okay, we go in here, we go down some stairs, and then if we go over here, a rival fight happens, it seems like, right here. Yep, he triggers, okay. Yeah, it's an actual rival fight this time, okay. Dude, he's sturdy Pattaya Berry on his Magnezone, so he's actually, like, so strong now. That's pretty nuts, actually. After that hunt, or that fight, we simply head west and battle this guy. Time to follow someone else completing this puzzle. Red, switch first. Green, switch next. Then blue switch. It's, why do you do all of them? That's really the optimal strat. And then you run down here. That's so funny. You just do all of them in a row. Okay, then you battle this person. Why? That's so funny that that's the strategy. Okay, then through this door, we head over through some boxes. I can grab this Pokeball really quick because why not? What's actually in it? An Ultra Ball, sure. Okay, apparently you can dodge this fight. So I'm going to try. You, is that really out of distance? That's hilarious. Okay, you can dodge that fight, which is pretty nice. Come over here, grab this Pokeball. And then this guy is like, ooh, I thought he was going to go down. We just dodge him pretty easily. Sit here for a sec. Okay, we actually had left here to go save this old guy. And like, it's like his radio tower, I think is the meme. Okay, let's go talk to this guy. See what's going on. What's he got to say? Yada, yada, director, the radio tower, what's happening? Take this key card. Nope, no worries. Thank you. Got a TM Earth Power there too, which is a pretty relevant move. Especially if, dude, if you have Cyndaquil or Typhlosion here, you should 100% teach that move to your Typhlosion. If you pitch Typhlosion, you've got to pick that TM up. That's actually, I think, oh, I think he can get it in this game. He might not be able to get it in Pokemon, which would be really sad. This man has no coverage moves. Please tell me he gets Earth Power. I think he might not. A, B, C, D, E. This dude gets fucking nothing. Dude, Typhlosion is like... I, it sucks. Uh, Typhlosion's my favorite. I think he literally is the worst starter in Jota. I think Meganium's better in terms of power. Meganium's worse in terms of everything else, but... Dude, I, that's really rough. Okay, back up the stairs we go if I can find my way through this box. I was trying to go through here. Can you really not travel through there? That's very funny. The gap seems so large. Okay, up here we go. And an amulet coin there. Free for a gym run. Easy peasy. Okay, and then just elevator time. Head over here. Go up here. Well, I don't need all the Pokeballs and random stuff. You can do the items down there if you want to, but I am good. Okay, I don't know if following Worcester's route has been, like, hyper... I, I probably should have just followed, like, a playthrough, but, cause, like, the speedrun route has been so strange. Like, now I have to... I'm going to heal up really quick. Now I have to just head back to the radio tower and go through again. Is that normal, or is that just, like, for the speedrun strat? It, it's really hard for me to tell to decipher, like, what's the most optimal route with this video, unfortunately, which is my own mistake. 
You gotta get the key from the old man you saved. Opens a new area in the radio tower. Oh, this is actually the normal route? Okay, never mind. Johto is just weird, Kek W. I mean, fair. Kanto is way weirder. I say this all the time. This is coming from like a Kanto kid. Like, it was my first game, and I love Kanto, right? Um, I love Kanto to death. Playing Kanto, like, the, Kanto is the worst region to play through blind for the first time. The weird-ass mechanics, like, having to go get hot tea from a random fucking, like, cafe thing to, like, the... There's so many weird... The dungeons, the amount of dungeons, the sylph scope, um, the amount of weird shit you have to do in Kanto to, like, progress is wildly strange. Um, but I'm used to it, and I remember it because it's my favorite region or whatever, and I've played it the most, um, and I love it. But I feel like if you play it for the first time, like blind, as like a zoomer or something, and you know, current year, it's like probably the worst regional playthrough blind for the first time. It's so janky. Okay, here we have this guy. The blue hair. Pro this guy's name is Proton. Yeah, let's beat up him and then uh take his little his buddy, his Pokeball. Okay, this should be Proton defeated. Time to go fight his brother Neutron. All right, guys? <laughs> Good one, Mr. Streamer, lol W. Okay, what's in this Pokeball? Thunderstone based. Up the stairs we go. Is this what if this guy is actually named Neutron? No, it's Ariana. Proton and Ariana. Okay, dude. That's kind of crazy that Tri Attack one shots there. I mean, I'm I'm pretty over level, but like adaptability stab, Tri Attack, Choice Back to Port Gun Z is just gonna do. I, I probably one shots here, right? This is gonna, this is this is gonna be like the spam move. This is gonna be so nuts from now on. I think we still have one more fight. So in the elevator we go up to the top. I'm kind of weak. I probably should just potion, at least on my Porygon Z, and it might be worth like reviving something in the back i probably don't need to how much pp do i have on tri-attack i might just lead port on z and spam tri-attack and just see how much damage i can get out which will probably be monstrous okay let's just try that i could even go primeape and do like u-turn strats which is really funny honestly primeape is underrated here i'm gonna lead primeape actually i'll use some xp candies on it or do i need to i'm gonna lead primeape uh and try that and then i have u-turn strats plus um CC, CC choice band spam, like, so good. Like, okay, we'll see how this goes. Might be bad to lead primate, but we'll see. Electrode lead. It's going to outspeed me, which is totally fine. Um, Not ground type, unfortunately. I think I just CC here. It's going to outspeed me. It doesn't do that much damage, actually. This should probably kill. Yeah, 36% is way less damage than I expected. Uh, Depending on his next Pokemon, I either switch or just keep going for CC spam also possible that i just let my primate go down because like switching into rampardos or porygon z just to get, take damage on them might not be worth it no I, I can pretty safely go rampardos here i'm a little scared of um i'm a little scared of uh what's it called like toxic It'd be kind of lame but it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world either brave bird that's good for me only 20 percent and now i just rock slide pretty safe Rock's like definitely one shots this thing. Yeah. Rip rip. And next up, Houndoom. I can also just stay in a rock slide. It might. It's gonna outspeed me, I think. Ooh, I outspeed. That's actually so good. Okay, that saves me a lot. That's really, really, really good that I outspeed. I'm surprised I outsped that. I know I'm naive and EV trained, but wow. Isn't Houndoom like 110 base speed? That's pretty shocking. 90, oh, 95. I thought it was 110. Okay. A little bit slower than I expected, actually. That's pretty nuts, though. Rock slide again. I definitely outspeed this. Okay, we're cooking with the shiny Pardos. Love to see it. And then Weezing. I don't... I probably don't one-shot here, but it might be close. I actually do one-shot. I mean, I guess it's Rampardos, Choice Band, Stab. Beautiful. Nice work. This this is the sole reason why I shiny hunted for it, for sure. It's all paying off, finally. W. Okay, also comparing this fight, like Pokemon's version, to like Worcester's fight is really funny. His guy has like coughing and houndour. First mine had wheezing and houndoom. Like what the differences are pretty insane. Wait, we just got a rainbow wing. Oh shit. It's not a rainbow quill, but a rainbow wing. Interesting. Can I finally go do um eighth gym badge now? I have to just get out of radio tower. I think I can I can I go heal up and just head straight over to uh Claire? Is that their name? Okay, to Mahogany Town we go. We're going to heal up and then head east. What's the first thing you're going to do after beating the Johto storyline? Probably Shiny Hunt for Miltank and then make guides. I want to make the uh, Apricorn location like farming guide, for example. Okay, east we go. This is that like ice. Oh, here's a... Speaking of Apricot, Apricorn location. I keep saying Apricot, Apricorn locations. Pick up that one. A nice little red Apricorn. 
Earlier today, I recorded my crafting guide. The crafting guide is really simple. It's literally, hey, go get apricorns, go to this location in game, talk to this NPC, have some extra pokey in. The apricorn guide might have actually been uploaded while I've been live streaming like an hour or two ago or something. I think it was at 2 p.m. 20 minutes ago. I'm running into every trainer possible here like a moron. I'm not I'm not pathing at all. We finally made it. After getting caught by every single trainer, we finally made it here. I don't think I can. I have to fight one of these guys to get through here, right? So I'll just go ahead and fight this one. Okay, here we are on the ice cave. We have to go. We, we get waterfall in here, right? I believe waterfall is um what I need to get to mill tank shunt, which is really cool. I almost did this without watching your guide. That would have been the biggest mistake of my entire life. Absolutely true and real. Let me pop this out so I can follow it perfectly. We go here, and then here. I'll think for that sub in a sec. Oh, he's so fast. One sec. Thanks for the sub. Give me one sec. He's going to the next one. So fast. Ah. Oh shit, a deli bird. Is this um? Is this the new? Is the deli bird the new deli bird deli board the new deli bird horde around here? I'm. It's so excited to shiny hunt for deli bird. HM waterfall. Nice. Okay, perfect. Easy peasy. A lot of people don't know this. Pokemon has rehauled all cosmetics and visuals in the game twice. A lot of people don't know that. So when people say like they don't think gen 6 is going to be possible because they'd have to like remaster all cosmetics or graphics or whatever we've done this in the game twice people didn't think that ds games were going to be possible people didn't think that even adding a new region beyond fire red was possible a lot of new players don't understand the history of pokemon which is totally fair it's my responsibility to teach it if anything right um but i think it's good to keep that in the back of your mind when making like opinions or giving takes about pokemon it's like the same people who were doubting the ability to add Cohen are the same people doubting Gen 6 Plus. The same people who are doubting, uh, who doubted uh, Diamond and Pearl and Black and White or DS games in general are doubting Gen 6 Plus. Um, people don't realize the graphical difference and change from 2D to 2.5D. It's pretty drastic, right? Um, but you don't think of it as being that, because it doesn't look that drastic, but it's, it's pretty drastic. Now, the drastic difference between 2.5D to 3D is more, but like, we've done a lot of barrier jumping before. I, 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 I don't, I'm not someone to like doubt the devs or doubt that Gen 6 Plus will happen. I think it will happen one day. It might take six years of development, right? Maybe even longer. Um, but I do think Gen 6 Plus is like a pretty much a must someday in Pokemon, but we'll see what developers want to do and like their their path, right? People were saying that um someone messaged me the other day and said that uh they added Alpha Amoongus swarms in Johto, which I haven't seen, but I believe it obviously. Uh because I made a video a while back talking about how expensive Alpha Amoongus is and how it actually was like pretty bad for the economy, because getting an Amoongus competitive with hidden ability was pretty expensive and difficult. And they're kind of uh making it a little a little less a little more open and viable for to be able to get more of them which is really cool and good for the economy okay here's one of the things i hate the most in the entire game a rock strength type puzzle in a dungeon like pop a rappel and just follow fucking pop a worcester for this one guys i'm gonna be honest i got distracted and didn't follow the guide for two seconds and fucking fell a trousty moment check w how do i even get out of here now i'm stuck help ah okay we're out <laughs> easy peasy big brain I'm supposed to do this, but to bump it up and then back off. Okay, and then run down here. Okay, it seems like you literally just run all the way around. You loop all the way around after doing that. Uh, this can I go this way? No. Okay, I went the wrong way. So loop all the way around. Let me walk so I don't fall down these holes. I'm legitimately worried about that. Loop all the way around, come around here, and then I can push it in from the from this side. Okay, let's push this to the right one time and then push it down. Bam. Then he heads down the, the, the ladder. I almost fell for no reason. Ah, uh, yes, the ladder. Okay, we head down there. Okay, then we do this. Yes, yes, of course. I see the path. Okay, we, then we loop back because we made a mistake, clearly. Okay, well, how are we going to fix this, Worcester? Show me. Okay, then we go left. We go... Oh, we, ooh, we utilize the rock. I see, I see. We go down the ladder then. Yep, we go down the ladder. Thank you, Pog. We're supposed to just loop around and then go get the go up the ladder here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this Pokeball while I'm here. Why not? It's Pokemon. Though. Might as well get the benefits. Never melt ice. I mean, yeah, it's honestly worth picking up. But I can just go over here as well. Nice. I ran right through the ladder for a sec. Okay. Then we go over here. Why well, have to make sure I get to the ladder with the ice there? His pathing in this is insane. Okay, we copy it. Pog. Okay, not bad. Grab this Pokeball. Why not? Protein. Okay, this part I kind of need to follow a little more closely. I feel like this is gonna shake me. Okay, let's see a very specific ice pattern whoa he's so fast i fucked up <laughs> immediately butchered it okay first here then here then bam bam talk to kimono girl what's up fancy meeting you here she's just standing on ice 
chillin'. We shove her based. You really are kind. Thank you so much. Hey, no worries. Do I care about this Pokeball? Probably not. Uh, I'm just gonna peace. Okay, and we pretty much made it out. I think we're in the next town. Is this a trainer? Should I talk to them? Okay, no, she just compliments me. <laughs> I mean, I'll take that. Okay. <laughs> go heal at the Poke Center and uh, eighth gym time. And then after eighth gym, we do have to go to Dragon's Den, correct? Oh, this is the most beautiful gym. Okay, the best part about getting here is that now I can record YouTube clips at this location because this is like literally the most aesthetic gym in probably all of Pokemon. Um, I, I, it's pretty insane. This is, dude, it's so gorgeous. It's so, 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 so good. Okay, we go over here and then step on this thing once. Okay, then we do this apparently. And then that, uh, yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> go backwards, we fix it, we do this, we do this. There we go, fixed. I have to battle some trick. Can I skip all these trainers if I, I should have walked. I, I can walk through all these trainers, can't I? That actually is definitely worth it. I should try to skip them all for sure. I really wish cosmetics stacked. I'm really glad you asked that question, Jimmy Run. I, I really wish cosmetics stacked. I have like so many Kobons. Like I think if cosmetics stacked, it would make things a lot nicer. I don't know if it's like a coding issue or like if you can't stack like different colors or whatever, because certain uh, vanities are like colorable, right? Like dieable. Um, I, man, I, I would love if they could make vanity stackable. That'd be a really, really interesting, cool change. That guy's NPC sprite is actually kind of cool. Maybe I'm dumb. I actually kind of like the way his sprite looked. Okay, you should be able to walk. Oh, you can't walk back to this one. So Okay, you can't walk past all of them. Remind me to use a Lepa Berry before the final uh, leader as well for my tri-attack. Oh, this. Oh, he's so fast. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, he's so fast. Okay, try again. First arrow up, then down, then this. He's so fast. Uh, Wait, go back. Okay, then he did this again. And then this oh okay wait did i fuck it up no 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 i'm here okay we made it Pog. to be fair i might be able to just spam through everything with tri attack and not have to heal i'll just i will have to lepa bury my tri attack by the end but i could actually just get through everything probably here and be fine tri attack adaptability porygon z stab is just coming in huge right now huge huge it's really hitting the late game hard dude people keep hyping up the ho, -ho fight so much to me i'm excited alpha ledion wait what's what would the hidden ability be that's really interesting that's a new one it's not even in my dude that's interesting i want to see if someone lists on the gtl it's, it's like really fresh fresh new alpha apparently is there any on the gtl like hidden ability access probably not it's wow it's really fresh okay i'm excited to see what the uh ha is i can dodge this trainer okay we walked one successfully okay this might be the last platform let's try to follow goes left first blue blue again he's so fast okay left Blue, blue, right, blue, up. I did this naturally without following a guide my first time on the PTS, and it was pretty enjoyable. It's honestly a cool puzzle to work out. Up a couple times. Okay, then here. This is this is the toughest one, obviously. It's the last one. This, blue, up, then up again. Nice. Okay. Perfect. We're here, fellas. Eighth gym. I'm excited. Uh, Porygon Z might just carry us through. I mean, I left a buried, so I did do that already. Let's just lead with it and spam tri attack and see how much damage we uh, we chip into this bad boy. As a gym leader, yada yada. That sprite animation was pretty cool. Okay, let's see how this fight goes. They lead with Aerodactyl. Should I just discharge spam? Maybe. I think I just go try attack. Tri attack is just gonna be so good. But like, tri attack always ends up out damaging everything. Well, not in this situation, probably, right? I could discharge and then... Is it going to have Focus Sash as well? I could discharge, switch out, switch back in. Because I'm Specs. Okay, I just one-shot. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I discharged there. I can always switch out and sack and come back in. Alpha, Ledeon, hidden ability is Iron Fist. I wish that made... I can discharge here. I mean, I should probably switch out and go try attack. I don't one-shot. I, I, I'll discharge. I'm fine. I just, I'm worried about Muddy Water. I should be fine. Um, I wish Iron Fist made it good, but yeah, definitely not. Uh, I'm gonna switch. No, I can just kill. Okay. I do want to switch soon and get back in to re relock in a uh, fry attack is worth doing. Yeah, like here, I'm gonna switch out. It's it's definitely definitely worth. Uh, we'll go over to. I don't know honestly. Rhyperior, I guess. Blaziken. Bla we'll just sack Blaziken. Get some damage off, I guess. We went into Gyarados. 
That would've been good to discharge into. We go for a strength, nothing crazy. I'm gonna rock climb just for the 20% chance to confuse. I don't really care about the extra chip. Like that's fine to do. That might just kill me as well, which is totally good. Because now I can go back into Porygon Z and now I spam Tri-Attack. Even though this is four times week two discharge, it's better I go Tri-Attack so that I can kill everything with that versus being re-locked re in. So now I go Tri-Attack. This should definitely kill. There we go. Gyarados down. This should definitely kill Dragonair. What's the last Pokemon? Is it? No, dra double Dragonair. Okay. That one shot, that one. All right. And then one shot, that one. And there's our eighth gym badge, fellas. That was a pretty easy fight. I mean, dude, Porygon Z is just taking off. Porygon Z is getting so strong. I'm excited to see what it can do with the Elite Four. I've never used Porygon Z in the storyline, and it's, I mean, it's phenomenal. Porygon Z and Togekiss are like very, very similar Pokemon in what they do. Um, Togekiss might be better. I think it's more like versatile. You have like Roost and Nasty Plod and like Air Slash Flinch, which is really nice. Uh, but I think Porygon Z is better for like pure damage output and like pure spam, uh, which is pretty cool pretty interesting pokemon okay this is where she cries and throws a fit and doesn't give me the gym badge so we have to go chase her down so we have to the portal okay i probably won't go catch alpha Ledeon, unfortunately um but i will go it's just they're just too hard to catch man i feel like i need to beat the storyline to first before i can catch them they're just so insanely difficult to catch um i'm not gonna try to catch it but i'm gonna go battle it and maybe try to kill it or something um and get it seen in my alpha pokedex and that, that's honestly worth doing so it's worth going to check i might go I might try to catch it. I might just kill it. We'll see. It's pretty... Thankfully, all the alphas have been pretty easy to get to so far. I uh, like this one. Yeah, it's like right here. So, it's pretty easy to get to. Go ahead and check it. No shiny. Yep, that's okay. Let's see how this fight goes. Caught alpha with full HP with a Pokeball. What? Let me... Actually, you know what? The, I should definitely try to quick ball here. Um, it's worth It's worth trying to quick ball for sure against this. Every alpha you don't check is a missed alpha, based on true, for sure, 100% chance. Come on. I've never quick I've never quickballed an alpha, ever, in my entire life. That was the first one. It makes sense as Ladybug's, Ladian's catch rate is probably not too crazy. That was awesome. I've never done that. And it's male. Male, modest. This is actually pretty good stats. This should sell for a little bit, at least. That's actually, su I'm super happy with that. I've never, ever, ever been able to quickball an alpha turn one, ever. Nice. That is really fucking cool. Dude, that mill tank was so hard and that Ledian was so easy. The fucking duality of man. I'm gonna sell it now while it's uh at its most expensive. Because I don't see it staying expensive. Um that could be wrong. Iron Fist. Well, so what I'll ch price check this is. What's the cheapest like alpha Ledian gonna go for? I mean, I'll, I'll probably just go by um price and egg group. So what's the egg group? I'll price check it and make a clip. I would price check this with nature. It's just by doing modest bug male alpha and then just do 20 plus. That That's how I would price check this. Um, Pinsir 55k. I can double check after by just doing IVs and see which is which is better. Like 55k is really cheap and it's been listed forever. So now that doesn't seem to be super selling. So now what I would do is 31, 31, and then get rid of these 20s and not really worry about those. They're pretty low 20s as well. So just do two times 31 bug. Um, look, they're around the same price check. This is 48K versus the other one's 55K. Uh, now let's try 20 plus in speed and special defense, but not special attack. So now we see like 73K, but it's for 23 days. A long, 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 long time. This one's also jolly. Probably better than mine. Um, I'm gonna list mine for like 60K. I think that's fair similar to the other ones it's a super good listing and someone bought it easy peasy pog okay i'm also gonna do something kind of funny part of me really actually wants to buy so i need whirlpool and waterfall i kind of have a long-term goal of getting all the ocarinas part of me kind of wants to buy the ocarinas for them here but i shouldn't do that until i get the vanities so let me check the price of the vanities first oh shit a sweet Coon just got listed 2.5 mil Thunder Beast is at 3.9 mil. What's the... Is it like Aura or something? What's the... Aura Beast main? The names are so tough to type. 3.9 mil. What's the last one? Volcano Beast Wings. Are they all at like 3.9? What is RP at then? So they're at... We can do... We can read the calculator actually. So they're all at 3.9 mil. RP is currently 2.6 for 5. So what you want to do is do 2.6 times 1.5 this lets you know which is cheaper so it's, it's around the exact same price um as buying rp or just buying the vanity i am going to wait still on those i'm gonna wait i'm gonna claim that um i don't want to how much would that cost for all three let's get the calculator back up so if we do 3.9 times three 
11.7. Literally almost the exact amount of Pokemon I have. Um, okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind. But I want to save up for Ocarinas and stuff as well. I kind of want to buy the Ocarinas here, but I probably shouldn't. And now I need Whirlpool and Waterfall. Dude, I, part of me really wants to just buy the um, Ocarinas. I really like the idea of working long term towards these items. How much is the... Okay, we'll see. We'll, we'll test the math. 568k. Ocarinas are what? 200 RP, I believe? If I'm not mistaken. Would it be cheaper to buy the Ocarina or buy the RP? Let's go ahead and check. We can actually buy some RP to get both, like some Ocarinas and the Vanities, if that makes sense. Um, and then like pick up a Shiny Charm or something. So we could do 2.6 mil. Let's do that divided by 10, right? 2.6 mil, which is obviously going to be 260k. How do I do this so incorrectly? 2.6 uh, divided by 10. And you do, that's the price of 100 RP. And then times 2. So 528k is the cost of one of those, of on Ocarina. If we, uh, if we buy with RP. But if we buy 100 RP vouchers, I think it's more, right? Because those are going to be 265k a piece. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy. This is kind of funny, but I'm going to buy that 1000 RP. I might even buy more, actually, and just go for... We might do a huge spending spree right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be honest. Um, for now, let's just go ahead and redeem this one 1,000. One 1,000 RP ticket. I think we're going to do the meme. Two 1,000. Three 1,000. Four 1,000? This is... I've never, ever, ever bought this much RP. Consume, consume, consume. 4,025 RP. I've never had this much RP on my account ever. This is a huge spending little splurge. Um, man, I didn't expect to do this. I was kind of, I was kind of going to wait, but here I am. Uh, let's go ahead and get the Ocarinas hilariously. This is kind of a waste, but it's a cool little collector's piece. Uh, let's grab Whirlpool. It's more so just a collection thing. This is not like a good use of your, of your money. Um, we'll grab that. And then we have, we can buy two vanities as well. And then we'll have a little bit of leftover uh, Pokeyen. Can we actually get enough to buy everything? Can we get all, we might, can we afford all Ocarinas plus the vanities, but then just be dirt fucking cheap broke? Okay, I'm going to grab the Thunder Beast one. And then the Volcano one, I think, hilariously. Actually, I, yeah, because I have the Voltorb hat. Even though I think this might be my favorite. But I have 600 RP now. How much would it cost for 1,000 RP? We actually just finish it off, like, nice and clean. Or not 1,000. We need 500 RP, right? No, no, no. How much are we at? No, we need we need 1,000 more RP. Okay, so we're still, like, one mil away. Okay, time to go make Pokeyen and make progress, fellas. Pretty close. Not too shabby. That was the most RP I've ever spent in my entire life. That was a weird feeling. That was crazy. It was a lot of pokey and spent very, 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 very fast. Clue got a shiny mill tank? No! Fuck! Congrats to him! No way! Oh shit! Dude, congrats! I'm fucking jealous! Congratulations! Oh shit! I can't go hunt it yet, can I? Or can I now finally go hunt it? I'm not sure. He's about to catch? Can I even go watch? I don't even know if I can get to that location. Dude, congratulations. I want to see the link. Yeah, that whenever possible. I, dude, that's so incredible. What's the hype behind Shiny Miltank? It's the Shiny that I want the most in Johto. And it got a huge like change in how you get it. And it's way easier now. Let's go ahead and equip the new vanities I got, by the way. Uh, what are they even... I, dude, the names on them are insane. But I, I didn't get a hat one. Let's do the Thunder... Thunder Beast... Do -do -do, volcano wings. We're doing a weird Petrowski look. This outfit is honestly not as bad as I thought. It actually, I actually thought it was gonna be worse. Oh, I'm in Ecrutique. That's why I was kind of confused. I needed to fly back to this location. That's hilarious. Okay, let me go through this cave here in Blackthorn City. Let's head through, go down here. I think it's a pretty straightforward path, right? There's some trainers I have to fight, but it's a pretty straightforward path. Yeah, everyone's. Oh, this is a Dratini. The new. I should bring a sweet scent Pokemon on me because I need to be testing hordes, man. The new times five horde Dratini location is so crazy. I'm actually going to go grab a sweet scent Pokemon and I'm just going to do like five sweet scents or something like nothing crazy. Um, I think it's really, really cool. I want to, I want to test the new like shunts. Like it's crazy that, um, grab this over Blaziken. 
I want to go test them. I think I think it's so 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 cool. Keep going back to this city, Keck W. Here's shoes, Kleiny Mil clues, shoes, clues, shiny Mil tank. Thirty one speed is so good, dude. Wait, Mil tank is gonna be such a good shiny to breed because it's gonna be super cheap because it's always gonna be female. Dude, that's so sick. I'm so excited. It's my it's my man. I'm so excited. It's my favorite new shiny that's gonna be like so much easier to hunt like this was this was an egg hunt before this this hunt i made a video talking about it. this hunt went from being six to 18 months costing you 120 to 150 million pokien to now it's like a 60 hour hunt and i think it's free i don't know if you need lepers or not it's so so much easier now it's absurd dude look at so many how many people here are shunting dratini that is crazy here let's go ahead and sweet scent there's so many people here farming dratini the new that is a crazy sight to see man for how long dratini has been rare holy shit that is just like literally nuts to see wow it's split with carp i believe continuing on we just head west and go over here i have repel active we use a whirlpool i have my ocarina corsola whirlpool pod you just go straight through we just loop around and come over. Dude, this location is like Johto has some of the coolest locations. I'm not a storyline fan, once again, but Johto is legitimately so impressive with like the storyline locations. Like this location is also so Dragon's Den and the eighth gym. How do they kill it so hard just in this like one city essentially? I forgot about this test. Uh what are the answers? Do I have to answer this correctly? Does it matter? See friend. Does it matter? I should actually check chat. I have no idea if this matters. Think like Ash and you get it right? Yeah, just say love for everything based. How did it go? Yada yada. You passed. What? That can't be. Give me your badge. You're lying. Even I haven't been approved. This girl just like can't figure out how to love Pokemon. That's like the... It's like so difficult like to figure out. That shit is so funny to me. There we go. Eighth gym badge achieved, boys, with the new drip. Looking absolutely slick. Level 48. A very, very slight bump up in obedience. You was, Can you escape rope out of here? Oh, no, you can't. Okay, I thought you could. Okay, that's what Worcester did. <laughs> did not work, KW. Oh, she stops you and talks to you again. Oh, is that why you can't escape rope, maybe? That's interesting. ho oh, woo Is it time for the ho -oh fight? This is like a, this is actually like a whole new piece of content, right? Because I have I didn't do this during the... Uh, this was not in the game of the PTS. Do I actually do the ho -oh fight now? That's... Oh, shit. Really, really, really interesting. I gotta call as soon as I leave the cave. Professor Elm. Something neat. Swing by the lab. Okay, old man. Sure. Over to New Bark Town we go. Let's go see what uh Mr. Elm is getting into these days. Yoink. Drowsy, do I click the eight badges? Yep. That's so cool. It's pretty easy. <laughs> but I appreciate the compliment. Never cease to amaze me. My research is going great. Our ticket token. Oh, Master Ball! Actually, Pog. At, playing this game for 11 years of never or 10 years never used a master ball that's how important they are and how worth they are to save i'm gonna follow worcester here but i don't know if this is actually correct uh he goes ecrutique for a rival fight but i don't know if that's where i should go um is Hello actually here at the burned tower right this might be correct then so he flies over to ecrutique and then bikes up here bam thud Oh, he lost to the kimono girls. <laughs> Dumb silver. Okay, now we, oh, yeah, I remember this. We got stuck in this for like a long time. Name is Zuki. Yada yada. We're going to do a big dance. Fight them. Yup, yup, yup. I must test you. Are you ready? Yep. Pretty ready. All right, I, don't, I feel like I remember this fight being kind of difficult, but we'll see. I could totally be wrong. Oh, it's one arm. Oh, is this the, they have, the, each of them have one evolution. Is that the meme? I think I just spam try attack through everything. Heck W. Umbreon lived there barely. I, th I think a huge foul play. That's honestly fine, though. Still dumpster easy peasy. Nice. We broke the level cap there, which is pretty... We should we should record, like, do the Rampartus one. It's very, very satisfying to see the level cap break. Okay. Every time they sent out an evolution, there's, like, a weird animation. Let's see if I'm crazy or if it's actually happening. So watch the Pokemon right here as it, like, spawns in the battle. Okay, yada, yada. Come on, come on. There's, like, a weird little, like, orange ball animation. It's... Oh, is that the... Ch it's Cherish Ball, isn't it? That's actually what it is. I thought it was like a glitch. But it's just the Cherish Ball animation, isn't it? That's pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. I just try attack here. Uh, does one shot. Nice. 
do they change the level cap to 55 for the elite four is that true people were really bummed that it was 54 before on the pts did they change it to 55 so you can use like larvitar and stuff that's a pretty big difference okay right here this is hoo -Oh. <laughs> first try <laughs> getting the building correct guy w okay i have to talk to this guy bell tower let me fight hoo -Oh. i'm gonna kill this legendary <laughs> they're like protecting it they're like monks wait how insane is rampardos is like the perfect pokemon to destroy ho -Oh. should i choice scarf i probably should choice scarf it right what's ho -Oh's base stat speed is it a triple battle or anything as well do i have to worry about that how how tough is the fight let me move this let me move it like this it is a fight is it a boss fight like, it's, it's a fight for sure okay no one's gonna tell me which is honestly probably good i'm gonna ignore chat and just have this be a blind fight i'm gonna lead rampardos i think i don't know if it's gonna be a triple fight i don't i don't i have no idea i love this area it's so gorgeous dude can you come back here after the game's over you can right so i can like come record here because this place is stunningly stunningly suddenly gorgeous okay no cuts we'll just do everything do i need to rep i'm gonna repel you just in case i don't know if i need to is there trainer fights no okay thank fuck What's he? Okay. <laughs> wanted, to, wanted to gatekeep me? Okay. The music in the background here is so good. Please pop a rappel. Here, let me actually... You know what? Speaking of music. We'll get the full Johto aesthetic going. Pop a rappel? I have a rappel. You're gonna get destroyed by Hoho? Why are you guys staring me? Why would you the heck? Cat jam? This is kind of a cat jam. We've got the build up. Up to Hoho. Dun dun. Dun dun. Wait, how do I get <laughs> follow that guy? I had no idea where to go. Clueless? Why is chat flaming me? Just enjoy the fight? Is it that hard? You guys are literally staring me so much. You guys are terrifying me for what's to come. I'm gonna follow this guy. Yeah, we're copying strats. I don't have to do think at all. Brain off, boys. Was that wrong? Did he guide me the wrong way? That'd be funny. I think he did. He doesn't know. Ready to get his ass kicked? I had to try 15 times? Is the fight that hard? You're supposed to go up, right? That guy baited me. I popped a repel, didn't I? Oh, I messed up. Oops. Goto was by far the re easiest region in the game. Interesting. I don't know if I agree with I, mean, well, I, I don't know. I can't tell. We'll see. I have to really... I've, I've just spent a long time thinking about that. I didn't pop a repel again. Nah, not too hard. You guys are terrifying me. Wait, no spoilers, guys. No spoilers. Okay, repel. This is the correct way. I don't want this video to be me dirtling around forever. What's the correct path? Let me follow this guy. Is he following me? <laughs> I think he's following me. <laughs> I'm gonna lead. I'm gonna lead this this poor soul the wrong way. <laughs> uh, PP up. XW. <laughs> I baited that guy. This is just a full loop. <laughs> Animation's cool, at least. We're starting at the top, so up up is always the correct direction, right? Well, not here. Wait a minute. I'm going to get stuck in this. I need to follow a guide, I feel like. It shouldn't be too hard. Here. It should be almost done. I can only imagine people watching this and, like, being so frustrated. Took me a bit to get through the tower. Stag on the right way. Okay, up here. Not too bad. Bridge time, Pog. No matter which bridge I go. I don't care about getting the Pokeball. We zoom to the top, fellas. There's so much more. Why is there so much bridge stuff? Why is there so much to do? 
Should I have just done that? I should probably have just done that. I get lost all the time, even with guides? How is this complicated? Am I going Pokeball route? What am I doing? This. Okay, I, I know exactly what I'm doing on purpose. This is all purposeful. I don't care about the Pokeballs, but I'm getting them on accident. Okay, bridge. I love the bridge aesthetic. It's actually so good. I need more bridges in Pokemon. That's the real meme. Those lights are teleports. <laughs> don't say. <laughs> Thank you, chat. I can always count on you. Okay. Wait, we found it. Okay. How beautiful is it, though? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what we've all been waiting for, this is the Johto fight. People have been hyping this up so much to me. People have been hyping this up so much. We entrust it to you. Oh, well, we'll fall from the sky. Everybody's in front of it. We're going to see a little better. From ancient times, so many have tried only to fail. Your heart and clear bell and harmony have finally made it appear. Yada yada. Let me fight it, dude. Don't you agree, ho -o? Okay. Do I choice scarf? Is it going to outspeed me? It's 100 base stat speed, people were saying. And part of us is like, what, 65? But I'm naive. 58 base. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scarf, I think. Should I scarf or choice ban? Like, the question is, do I outspeed it? I'm going to scarf. It's a little safer. I might do less damage. I'm going to scarf rock slide. I definitely want... uh choice ban i just spam rock slide it's gonna be four times a week to i'm never out speeding on rhyperior this is way too slow i'm not ev training speed i just go that and then this goes specs 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 choice band scarf okay yeah ooh. let's see how this goes here's the legendary ho -Oh fight in pokemo level 45 triple battle let's see what friends it brings i positioned like this so i can discharge on my Porygon Z, and then it hit the Rhyperior, so it doesn't actually hurt me. Rock Slide 1, Rock Slide 2. Discharge doesn't hit my... Yeah, this is a perfect setup. This setup is so good. Uh, do I need to worry about T-Wave or anything? I'll just go for this. Double, this is gonna be, I have so much damage. Like It should be pretty good. I have so much damage. I should be pretty safe. I have like all like I'm okay. People like acted like this was gonna be super hard. I have lightning rod Rhyperior, so my special attack rose. Okay, this fight's fucking piss easy. Why'd you guys? People were saying it took them 15 tries. <laughs> he doesn't know chat. What is he? At? Okay, the triple burn is pretty scary. He doesn't know. Why are you guys scaring me so much? Is it like a wild? Is it? Is he gonna like full heal from scratch? If he full heals from scratch. Okay, shiny. Check W. Um, you're gonna see. He doesn't know. Smiley face. Bubble beam. Uh, let me actually just. You know what? We use my. We dig a brain. Where's burn heal? Do I have a burn heal? Do I not have a burn heal? Sure. We use this on our on our Rampardos and then I'm assuming something's gonna happen. We use our Surf get turn to heal the burn. I missed the rock slide. God damn it. Don't burn heal? Don't don't help me, chat. Don't backseat me. It's okay. I can handle it. I should have gone Porygon Z there. Okay, me missing the rock slide there sucks. Intimidate, sure. Sacred Fire and Gyarados is totally fine. 50% chance to burn. We dodged the 50% chance, which is cool. Called for help. Suicune. Suicune coming to help is cool. Uh, is it worth a rain dance? I think it actually... Is, yeah, it's so good to rain dance here to just weaken its Sacred Fire. So that's actually super worth. And then bag. Uh, we probably burn heal or potion something. Uh, we probably... Lumberry. What's the burn heal berry? Why do I not have a burn heal specific item? Okay, we just lep. No, 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 not lep. A lum. Petcha? 
What's the burn heal item? Frost. Superior. Rock slide. Just don't miss again. Helping hand. That's that's really good. So we're gonna kill Ho-Oh here. Okay, if Ho-Oh dies, usually in a fight like this, if Ho-Oh dies, we win the fight. Is that not what's gonna happen? Dude, it's so ominous. It's reborn! <laughs> Oh, it's a shiny ho -Oh. Radiant ho -Oh, Rebirth. Is it also going <sighs> to... Sunlight turned harsh. A sea of fire enveloped my team. Rain Dance fails. Do I have brought more strong Pokemon? I thought my, my team was like so strong for this. They just don't burn me. Uh, we bring out Rhyperior here. Radiant ho -Oh. We go for Aqua Tail. I probably don't need to kill this weekend, would be my guess. Rock Slide. Rock Slide. First Rock Slide. That was a beautiful animation and everything. It's so good. Solar Beam is going to kill. That's, that's so dead. That thing is so dead. Rest in peace, Rhyperior. Is this fight actually going to be like Turbo Hard? How many more items do I have? Do I need to like use more potions and stuff? That did not do that much damage. Brine, that's fine. He's brining and it's in Sun. Severe Sun, apparently. Rebirth. He heals? Shrugged off the attached deck. Oh, that's fine. That is fine. Um, Hurt by a Sea of Fire. Oh, jeez. Streamer is awake? Yeah, I need to, like, focus. Unironically. Oh, I probably just use my Gyarados. Oh, no. The Raikou is a little scary. That's okay. Okay, I probably use my Gyarados turn to heal my other Pokemon or do certain things. So, I'm going to go ahead and... um. I think X attack. How many items do I have to use here? Is it infinite? Is it fine? I'm going to X attack my Rampardos. Discharge here. And then Rock Slide. I'm going to discharge myself. Fuck. This discharge is going to hit myself. Shit. That's actually so bad. Okay. Raikou dead. Huge. Huge damage. Oh no. This discharge actually is going to hit me. And then me I'm scared of like Alpha ho -Oh after. Like, or like Shalpha ho -Oh after. I'm gonna kill myself with Discharge. No! Okay, we're fine. Crit! I crit, I crit, I crit, I crit, I crit. Is he gonna revive again? Please don't revive again. I killed him twice. Is he 1 HP? Is he 1 HP? Okay, do I. He's so close, dude. What? Do I just have to revive here? Am I gonna lose? I feel like I just thrash and go for the win, right? He's 1 HP, LMAO. Do I thrash or revive? I feel like the better strat is the safer strats to revive, but the content creator in me wants to thrash. Wait, why can't I thrash? I don't think CC kills, hilariously. The content creator in me wants to do it, man. No! <laughs> I'm so bad! No, I'm so stupid. Why did I do the content creator path? I should have played smart. <laughs> so stupid. I couldn't thrash. It wouldn't let me select. Oh, no. Or maybe I should have. Ah, it didn't matter. He outsped. I'm so bad at the video game. Wah. Let me XP candy my Gyarados and get a different Pokemon over Surskit. What's my level cap? 48. 42. This is expensive. 47 there. This is expensive. He's a Lee's. Okay, we finally get Dragon Dance on our Gyarados, which is super nice. You probably got that over Rain Dance, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. I might just take this stupid Swamp Rose level 48. It's actually a pretty good substitute because it's ground type, so it'll dodge the um, Discharge, as well as obviously being ground water. Uh, do I have any rock move on it? No, but that's okay. That's actually like a pretty good slot in over the source gate. I'll take that. <gasps> Wait, this is the best thing I've ever seen. Oh my god, Pokemon devs. I actually fucking love you for this. Oh, 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 wait, at the top of the tower. Dude, they... Thank you, devs. Oh my goodness. I That is so nice of them. Imagine having to climb the tower every time. That was actually just gifted to us.
That is insane. Okay, uh, let's try this again. I should be pretty good this time. Let me th let me think. Let me actually like focus and think though. Um, okay. I think it should be a pretty easy fight, honestly. But we'll see. I'm I'm scarfed on the Rhyperior now as well. I don't know if that'll allow me to outspeed or not because I'm adamant on it. But we'll see. Rock slide. Rock slide. Discharge. It's switching all my Pokemon around is is tough. That dev needs a raise. Yeah, whoever did that. So we lightning rod our repair period, which is genius. 28.5%. We were are doing our max damage anyway. 28.5. We're doing max damage to ho in every way. Perfect. Nice. The issue is when it like switches everything out here. What does it use? Not very effective. Yada yada. Everything was burned. The burns are what suck. The switch, the switches around, or the dragging around, is what's like wildly awkward. Yeah, let's see what happens. Like, should I just let all these Pokemon die or something instead of? I probably shouldn't make any switches. Essentially, I could. I have having U-turn here is actually kind of nice though. Let me U-turn into waterfall here into aqua tail here just in case my waterfall my swampert misses this kills ho -Oh. okay nice okay and then the chain this this like the music cutting out into this dramatic su resummoning of it is so beautifully done it's so good that that is so cool like, that is movie quality. And the Rebirth fucking one-shots my Primeape. How is Johto? How do you think, man? It looks gorgeous. I th That is, this is such a cool fight. 21% for my Swamper? I should have a choice banded. That's way more than I expected. That's really good. Okay, this should be a pretty easy fight. One Keck W, once again. It should be. So now I can actually, I can bring in Porygon Z here. This is perfect positioning for me. So I can bring in Porygon Z here. The burn doesn't hurt its damage, and it's going to discharge into my Swampert. And I can kill Sweet June. This is, like, perfect for me. So I discharge here. Waterfall. I can just do everything the same I did before. It should be perfect. I hated the ho fight, but I love how they did it. I'm loving it. I think it's awesome. We one-shot Sweet June. Do 28% to Radiance ho -Oh. Aqua Tail. We're doing max damage every time, which is a really good sign. 28.6. Solar Beam kills my Swampert. That's totally okay. Now I can bring over Rhyperior or something in. Or just Rampardos. I probably just draw Rampardos and Rock Slide through the burn, and I still do enough damage to kill here. I think that's the play. I think I just, yeah, I just Trio Attack again. I just Trio Attack again with Rampardos, and I sh it should be the end of the fight. All right, this should be the last turn. Unless there's like something in this fight I haven't seen yet. This should be it. This should be GG's. The fact that it lived one HP last time, 0.5% was so crazy. There we are, 55. So the level cap for the, for the Elite Four is 55. People were really sad when it was 54. That was an awesome fight, dude. That was really, really well done. Like the Pokemon devs just killed that. That was, that was stunning. That was incredible. Wow, beautiful. Now you can find Suicune, I believe. Oh, shit. So I can actually farm for Suicune if I want to. That's a really, really interesting... That's crazy. That's a weird feeling. Hey, thank you so much for watching until the very end of the video. Hopefully, it was a positive asset on your day in some way. And thank you to everyone's name who's on this list, who is a massive positive asset to my day every single day. I appreciate you all. Thank you for going above and beyond and allowing me to do what I do. I think from now, we just head over to Newbark and make our way over to Elite Four. We've made a lot of progress today. We're doing a really fucking solid job, I might I might say. Let's pop a rappel. Just make our way. Make our journey. Level 55. I can use competitive Pokemon and stuff now that I have in my boxes as well. Is this just the cave? What is this cave? Let me let me watch a guide. Okay, yeah, this is the cave I want to go into. Tanjo Falls. Oh, you just waterfall and I remember you waterfall and go up around. Okay. Yep. Go around. Is this Pokeball worth getting? That was instantaneous. Is that Albondi? That has alt account. Alibi, I, I know he's a chatter. Go around right here. Easy peasy. Okay, let me surf along here. We can dodge Macho Bear Paw. We see all the, all of our chatter friends. We can dodge like every trainer here if we path correctly. There's a trainer here. Oh, I fireworked on accident. 
one's pretty easy to dodge, but there's one coming up. If I not dodge this, is this a fight? Do I have to fight this? Yeah, I, that's okay, that's undodgeable. Okay, we dodge that trainer. The rare Petrowski actually succeeding in walking by a trainer. And then we hard go east. There's another trainer we have to walk by here. And bite hard east, and then this trainer we can walk. Nice. There's another trainer up here that we can walk. Yeah, I'll bond you, my boy, popping off, this guy. Let's see if he turns. Nice. Actually walking trainers? Who is this Petrowski? What? Okay, another repel pop here, and there's a bunch of trainers here that I can mostly avoid pretty easily, but... Okay, that one's unavoidable. This trainer is a forced fight as well, like, northeast here on this corner, and this guy has to be fought. Look at Nebster here, reflects in the... The sh respectfully reflecting the Charizard. Another another forced fight, it seems, which is totally fine. I feel like the Ho-Oh boss fights really aren't that bad. Um, they Because you just have... Each of them has four times weaknesses. Like, Gyarados is four times weak to Electric, and you can discharge it. And then Ho-Oh is four times weak to Rock Slide, you know, Rock Moves, and you have Rock Slide. And so you kill the adds with Discharge and Rock Slide, and you just four times hit them. So I feel like the boss fights are, like, really, really balanced, honestly. Um, if anything, they're kind of easy because of those inherent four times weaknesses. I think Garatina is far more dangerous. Yes, I actually super agree. Garatina not having a four times weakness, uh, the adds being more difficult, ghost type, the like fading in and out. Yeah, the Garatina, I totally agree. The Garatina boss fights way, way harder. Hello, Nuzlocke killer. That is a really interesting. Damn. How crazy are Nuzlocke's going to be in Johto? That's pretty absurd. Um, that's a really interesting thought. Like the strategy behind Johto Nuzlocke's in Pokemon is going to be so unique. Let me antidote here and continue on this route. There's just a bunch of like forced trainers, it seems like, which I'm super okay with right here with Porygon Z. I probably should have po spammed potioned up, honestly, uh, but I might be able to one-shot everything here. We'll see. Wait, is this just the E4? Is there no... Uh, there is a victory road. I forgot if there was a victory road. I hate victory roads. Is the victory road in Johto easy? Can I heal here? Can I heal at least? Or do I need to... Um, You just go straight into the victory road? That's kind of a brutal gauntlet to like go from... All those trainers directly. It's kind of actually tough. I say while I heal up my poor Don Z, which stomped everything. Uh, let me follow a guide very closely here. Okay, I'm going to follow Worcester to an absolute T here, or at least try to. Hurry up! <laughs> Am I getting flamed? Do I have to go under here? I already, I'm already messing up. The strength and push this up. Make sure repels are popped. I'm going to wear out my other repel, pop another this way he's so fast even at like the same speed as me Grab his Pokeball. wait pause i'm literally gonna put him at 0.75 speed he's his pathing is so fast and he just knows what he's doing Go around he's still ahead of me at 0.5 or 0.75 speed now we're on the same this way this way this way if you're following along here you go l go up ladder but i mess up my rappel up oops okay right here see where he goes he goes down the hole his animations are so much longer go north strength push this i want to be slow and careful here all i off bike he pushes it once one sec sorry twice and then up I don't care about the Pokeball. See you later, mate. How am I missing the ladder? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> okay, once you're up here, bike around. To dodge the, the hole. Around. I think bottom left down here. I'm getting lost. I'm even at 0.75 speed. Go around. He goes down this hole. Yoink. We drop. I assume ladder is the only option. Yep. Ladder. Up we go. This is the only path we can go, so I'm going to follow it until I see where he goes. He goes up here. He grabs his Pokeball, which is a rare candy. So I, I could have ignored this, but that's okay. It's, I mean, it's a rare candy. Is, is this the outro over here? Exit? Is there a rival fight here? Okay, this is the exit. I think this is a rival fight. Nice. Okay. Pretty easy. Johto's Victory Road is actually really easy, which is really good. Because I hate Victory Road so much. Let me just try attack spam in this fight. Even though Discharge is obviously really good here. Like, try attack's just good for the whole fight. I still one-shot the Feraligator. It's like adaptability is everything is so good. It's so much damage. Uh, do I need Lepa Berries though? Is my Tri-Attack only have two PP left? Yeah. I can't sweep with Porygon Z here. 
got to level 55, which is nice. Level cap. Okay, the one Pokemon I can't hit. Uh, let's uh, go over to... Are we okay? We're on Scarf, actually, Rampardos still. So we can go Rampardos, tank one hit, probably. Hopefully. And then... um. Crunch. Yeah, Slipper was nothing. Nice, 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 nice. HM... Okay, remember for the future, HM Rockline is the one right where you are. It's different from the original game, so easy to miss. It's worth... They're going to work here for Mount Silver. Oh, shit. Should I go ahead and get the Rock Climb HM you guys are saying? Okay. I might be worth to do that then. Oh, here's the level cap break on Rampardos. It was 46. Now we're at 50. 51. So much stored XP. I think we'll go 54. It's my guess. I don't think 55. 54? No way. We really had all that XP stored up? Not quite to the max of 55. Wow, that was a lot of XP. That was so satisfying. Yeah, okay, where is this rock climb HM port? Is it right here? Or is it right here? I feel like I remember actually getting this Pokeball. So I think I think it might be right here. Could be wrong though. I'll come back for rock climb later. I was just sticking around in the cave. To, I'm, I'll, I'll either come back for it later or let me go at least get the fly location so then I can just escape rope out of the cave and like actually get to the E4. Uh, there's also a XP candy right around here. One sec. Or a rare candy, excuse me. Um, I think it's worth just coming back. Then I can and I can like repel and um get right here. Perfect. Rare candy pog. I can repel and then just escape rope out to like save myself. Or at least like get the fly location. Okay, pog. Let's go heal really quick. We can just do the E4. I'll just get the rock climb later. That's totally fine. Do we just tackle the Elite Four? Is that the play, fellas? Is that the play? What do we think? Is it time? Are we ready? This guy's so underleveled. We go XP train first, or can we just do it? You think? We have two level fifty fives. Would this be choice scarf or banded for the E four? I feel like probably scarfed. I think we have high enough levels actually. I think we can do it. I'll put lefties on the Gyarados as well. I think that'd be better with D dance. I think we're high enough level. I think we're fine. Put an item on the Swampert. Let's do the Elite Four, fellas. We're stalling for content as per usual. Check W. Woof. Chick-fil-A's fries are incredible. Yeah. Okay, let's... Okay, anyways, let's... We, we stalled for, like, an hour. Lost a shit ton of viewers. We talked about fast food fries. Now, let's... Uh, all the bots left? Yeah, true. Let's take on the Johto Elite Four. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty sure I'm just ready. Let's put an item on Swampert. Probably just this. Uh, should I lead with my Rhyperior and get my, my, my Stealth Rocks off? Is that worth, you guys think? What's his other ability? Should I... Solid Rock? Like I just go focus sash on him and lead with him. Do we do we do you get healed after every battle, like in the other elite fours, or is it like in the PTS where you don't? I need confirmation on that first. Yes, you do get healed. Okay. Yes, heal. Okay. Let's start, fellas. We waited long enough. Be courageous and go for it. I feel like this should be pretty easy. But I'm gonna get stomped and we'll be embarrassed and we'll see. Super repel. I popped a super repel. <laughs> Oops. That's okay. I'm going to set up Stealth Rocks. Stealth Rocks are super, super good against pretty much every Elite Four. Um, breaking Focus Sashes, Breaking Sturdies, all super, super good. I'm going to set up Stealth Rocks. I have a Focus Sash just in case this guy can one-shot me. Like, he probably can. Like, if he Giga Drains here, he probably just one-shots me. Set up Stealth Rocks. Leaf Storm. Yep, that would obviously one-shot me. My, my uh, Focus Sash is going to save me. We're going to set up our Rocks. Probably go over to Porygon Z here, and I probably just go. Obviously, it's four times weak to bug, but I probably just spam Tri Attack. I could just try, try to make a horn here, but I just die. That's okay. I don't need to like save or anything. Anything else worth going? I could just go. Actually, no, no, no. I just go straight to Rampardos and go for Crunch Spam against this team. I don't need to go Porygon Z. I'll be faster. I'm scarfed. Now we just do big, big... Okay, we should be pretty safe here. Repel away all the bad RNG. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Slowbro comes out. Should outspeed and probably one shot with Crunch. It'd be kind of close. 74%. It lives. Sir, scald. Don't burn. It's 30%. If I get burned, I mean, it's fair. It's not that unlucky. Okay, there we go. Okay. Slowbro down. It okay, Jinx up Nest. This thing has Focus Sash, but it should get broken. Or it probably has Focus Sash. I think I outspeed with Starf. Nice. Rampardos is strolling through, fellas. Crunching through. What do we got next? Zatu. Should be good. Stealth Rock damage plus crunch. Should be able to kill. Look at the Stealth Rocks, dude. Putting in insane work. Yeah, Zatu down. Easy peasy. What's the last Pokemon? 
Yeah, Espeon, this is a wrap. Dude, Rampardos plus Stealth Rocks, absolutely demolished. No strategy needed when you have banded Rampardos. Hey, that's what I love to see. Um, actually, it's actually it's actually Scarf Rampardos, <laughs> but same same thing. I did forget to put another Focus Sash on my rep here, here, which is kind of a mistake, but that's okay. So you, if you lose, you don't get sent back. You have to win, right? Like it's not like the PTS. If you lose, you don't get sent back to uh, what's it called? Is it worth to? I actually don't know what to do here. Should I rock slide? Should I self rock? I think I just died to a bug buzzer, kick a drain. Oh, bug buzzer is 39%. Okay, I'm chilling. I'm going to stealth rock into a rock slide. <laughs> that is an easy fight, fellas. Is this guy poison type? What move should I spam here? Like, do I really go rock slide? I'm scared I'm going to miss eventually and really hurt myself. But stab rock slide like, is really good, obviously. He's poison, right? Should I just EQ'd? Well, I can't EQ into Venomoth. Well, actually, no, I can, right? Isn't it bug poison? Should I just EQ'd? Oh, I probably should have EQ'd. I definitely should have EQ'd. Actually, Rock Slide hits for neutral here. Okay. 57%. Doesn't one shot here. He might explode here. Gyro Ball did a lot, actually. Okay. Yeah, I always forget Venomoth's not flying. Not bug flying. It's bug poison, which is so interesting. I've seen bug steal, bug poison. His type, his theme is so funny. Muck. I probably one shot as long as I hit with the Rock Slide. Nice. Oh, I didn't kill. Okay. No, I need to be EQ in here. I fucked up. That's okay. This dies. That's okay. Totally okay. I just bring in a uh, Gordon Z and spam choice specs. Try attack should be pretty powerful. Okay. The muck taken down. Crobat taken down here as well. Stealth rocks once again. I, there must be focus ashes. I'm, I'm destroying. Like I know sturdy fortress would have been an issue. Eridos comes in a huge mixture of like bug and poison types here. We'll try attack 75% Koga down two out of four, two out of five battles done. Okay, now let me remember to actually put Focus Ash on my Rhyperior. Right it's worth using. The aesthetic here is gorgeous. Let's go against this guy. Should be a pretty easy fight once again, but we'll see if I mess up. Okay, we have our Stealth Rocks up. We've got Kranidos staring him down. I'm going to EQ. I am hope he doesn't Mock Punch. Mock Punch would have actually done a lot to me there. I only do 61% and he one-shots me. I can't believe I only did 61% there. I wonder if I should Choice Ban certain fights and Choice Scarf others. I'm obviously faster here. That was pretty nuts, actually. Uh, should I go Gyarados here and go for D-Dances? I'm scared because Dynamic Punch is just going to... I'm going to go Porygon Z and try attack The Confusion is a pain. Maybe I can set up Gyarados later. It should be fine still. That was pretty nuts. This Machamp actually obliterated me. I really want to switch here. I think it's actually, I think I actually just try attack and just take the pitiful damage. No, oh, I actually just kill. What? I was going to like... Maybe go Swamp Art or something. Do I actually kill there? No, almost. Explosion. It... Explosion one shots me. This fight's gonna be close. I have I have like repel, uh, revives and stuff, but they do actually limit you now, so you can't like you're limited to four items. So it actually I actually could lose, but I probably go Gyarados now and set up. Primeape choice ban CC spam in the back is really nice. Hitmonchan. I think this has Thunder Punch. Fuck me. Um, I think I have to switch Swampert here, expecting the Thunder Punch. Pretty sure this thing has Thunder Punch. Ice Punch. Okay, that's fine. I think I just throw up a Waterfall here or whatever and just get some damage off. Brain Punch. He's going to heal it a bit, though. Let's see how much Waterfall does. 59. The Swampert is just like... I was just meant to be like, oh, a throw-in inclusion, but it's actually doing like a lot of work. It's not a very good Swampert. Like, I think it's, I think it's a, a random, shitty, like, HM friend Swampert. Okay, Hitmonlee still left. Hitmonchan down. Uh, I think I just drove Gyarados here. Is it worth setting up a D-Dance? I think it actually is worth setting up a D-Dance here. Like, one D-Dance. Is it? No, I don't think it is. It's kind of... I'm going to lose if I do that. Um, I just Aqua Tail. Kill the Hitmontop. And then CC hit whatever is left if my Gyarados goes down. But I should be fine. Keep HP on Gyarados. Yeah, I think I'm fine here. This thing has no electric type coverage, I'm pretty sure. Should I kill? 94.3. I think it's not. I think I need 97. Nice. Okay. That was actually a close fight. Two Pokemon left. We have full healed now. That was actually a pretty close fight, though. That was interesting. Leaf or Bruno was a tough one. Okay. Next we go, fellas. Why? How could I lose? How could we lose? It was close, man. He put up a good fight. Okay. Same strategy. Uh, This is Agatha or whatever. I'm going to crunch through this with Rampardos. I want Scarf here. I need to think a little more before I start the battles and be like, okay, do I want Band here? Scarf? Like, what I want on certain Pokemon? Um, I should think a little more on that. 
Yeah, Giga's gonna hit me in my Focus Sash. I'm gonna set up Stealth Rocks. We'll take that trade all day. I just sacrifice it here. Go for like an EQ, but it's gonna hit, kill me ahead of time. Yep, it's totally okay. What Pokemon do I bring in here? The issue is it's not... I could go Gyarados. I actually could really safely go Gyarados here and set up D-Dances. Uh, just Gidrain... Gidrain needs to be neutral, I guess. I don't have a great way to hit it, actually. No, that's... What am I thinking? Um... Go Porygon Z and just try attack. It's so safe. Yeah, I just do that, I think. Porygon Z try attack. Gonna be insane damage. Nice. One shot it. Yeah, but I can't try attack this. I need to make a switch. Uh, we'll switch over to Swampert. Kind of like a sack switch, slash, also just change it up. Swampert's just a really good pivot Pokemon. He was for a focus blast. We just waterfall for like to chip it down a little bit. Swampert's a really good faulty pivot, like sacrifice Pokemon in a lot of ways. Special defense drop. If he goes for Shadow Ball again here, if I'm really brave, I could go to Porygon Z here on the Shadow Ball. It's so fucking... It's really not worth this risk, but it's based. I'm gonna go for it. Eh, it looks good. There we go. It's really not worth to do that for the most part. I'm gonna discharge. Easy peasy killed Gengar. I think I just discharged this as well. I two-shot. I don't one-shot it, but I two-shot it. That's, that's, that's fine with me. It's with a Toxic. That's... Build it totally okay. It'll take down way too slow with three Pokemon left. We we'll go for discharge here. Take out the Umbreon. What are the last two Pokemon? Nice. Now I get a free discharge into the Honchro to kill that. Okay. What's the last Pokemon? So we're on the last Poke. We're, we're totally good here. All right. And then Hound Doom to finish things off. I don't think that kills hilariously. I thought it would. Wow. That's pretty shocking to me that that actually lives. Uh, but I think I live here, right? Poison might kill me. No, I think I live. Heck. Just kidding. Um, okay, still a really easy fight. Definitely over. Uh, I'll go to Rampardos and go for an EQ to finish it off because we love to see the shiny Rampardos. See you later, mate. It's crazy how much there is to do after I finish the Elite Four. Like there is, you know, red. I have to do the. I have to unlock all of Mount Silver. I have to hunt for Suicune. I have to. Um, I still have all of my personal goals. I have to go hunt for Shiny Mill Tank. There's so much to do right now. It is actually unlimited content it's crazy uh, let me go ahead and uh focus sash my right period there we go okay before this next fight i do want to think a little bit is this the final fight dude the Tratini things are so cool um i don't know what he has do i want star for band here well it's too late <laughs> i really i'm really glad i i, I remembered to uh pause and think about that one guys <laughs> okay let's see how this goes last fight here we are Time to finish Johto, ladies and gentlemen. People of royalty. Is it time? The music! Set up Stealth Rocks. Waterfall puts me to one. That's okay, we take that trade. Rhyperior is sacrificing himself for the embedment of the team here. I know that the Stealth Rocks is going to come in handy. He has a lot of flying types. If he has Dragon types, if he has Dragon Ideas, he has Gyarados. That Stealth Rock is going to be huge. That Stealth Rock is going to put in work for this team. He's locked into Outrage. That's important for the future switch in here. Relevant to think about. I think I go over to Porygon Z and go for a Discharge just to make sure I take out this Gyarados handedly. 100%. Gyarados is one shot. Five Pokemon left. Time for full power. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Ampharos switches in. I have to switch out here. I cannot stay in. I can't discharge an electric sheep. What would I be thinking? Uh, it probably focus blasts me, is what I'm guessing. I'm going to go Swampert. It's a, it's a very, very safe, bulky pivot. Discharge, even better. Probably just go for Waterfall. Did a little bit of chip on it. 20% from Dragon Pulse. It's nothing. Very, very healthily tank that. We just chip it down with our... Swampert's very much our, like, sacrificial pawn in this team. He's probably our weakest member. He's just here to pivot. Tank a hit. Static is a little rough, I will say. We're already pretty slow. Full restore. That was dumb of me to put him in a full restore range, but that's okay. If I get full restored into Parahax, that puts me behind quite a bit, but I'm fine. If I can get a safe way into... Rampardos would be really good, but the safest way is just to let my, my Swampert die. Is that a crit? Are you kidding me? Wow. Para into Full Restore into crit. 
It's not that unlucky, but it's just, it's just crazy. The dragon sheep. Okay. That's fine. Swampert down is actually good. So now I can safely go over to the boy, the king of my run, Rampardos. Tell him what's up, man. Hit him with the EQ. There we go. Blast him away. Peace. Okay. Dragonite can't eat you that. Gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here. What attack does he go for is the question. Can I go Gyarados here safely? I don't have, I don't have Ice Fang or Ice type coverage. I could go Gyarados into Outrage, but do I need to sacrifice my Gyarados like that? Should I just go Primeape and sack my Primeape? I feel like Primeape is useless in this fight. I feel like I, I, feel like I sack Primeape here. Worst case scenario, I have Revives, but I'm pretty sure Primeape is pretty useless in this fight. Yep, I will happily, happily, happily. He's probably White Herb Draco Meteor. I'll happily take that Draco. Drag he's Dragon Gem Draco Meteor. Okay, I'm dead no matter what there. I'm glad I did that then. Great play. Um, I really want to go over to uh, Rampardos and go for the Rock Slide, but it's scary if I miss. I could go to Gyarados and go to Dragon Dance Outrage as well. I feel like this might be Gyarados' time to shine. He's lowered his special attack. I'm going to go for the D-Dance. One D-Dance and Outrage. D-Claw does 54. Does, does, does Outrage kill though? I kind of don't think so. It's 75. It does. It does. Okay, that's huge. Okay. That's huge. Now I'm locked in Outrage, so my Gyarados is just going to pop off until it dies. But I'm okay with that. What are his last three Pokemon? We've, his Pokemon team is so strong. Tyranitar. I don't kill this in one shot. I don't even know if I two-shot it. I might two-shot with um, Stealth Rock support. 40% per hit. Okay, I'm pretty comfortable with this. Crunch, does that kill me? I think it does. Wow. Still a little dicey. A little dicey. Can I EQ safely yet? How many flying types does he have is the question, right? How many flying types is he going to have? Um, I'm going to go Rampardos. It's scary to go Porygon Z there because he is... uh. Boosting his special defense with Sandstream. I'm gonna go for EQ here. Take out Titar. No way it ever lives that. How many more flying types does he have? Another one! Oh my god! Okay. And I'm choice locked. I have to switch here, but it doesn't feel good. That's kind of brutal. This is not ideal at all. Honestly, just rocks that I live. Okay, 44% is so good for me. Chips me down, though. I think I'm in a discharge. He's faster. Am I dead a sandstorm here? I think so, right? Wow. He has four flying types? No way. I think I'm dead a sandstorm. That chip, the two-turn chip from sandstorm, being like the death of my Porygon Z there is pretty crazy. Last is flying two. What, what Pokemon? If I miss Rock Slide, am I going to lose? How brutal would that be? Kingdra. I think I have to revive. If this thing surfs, I'm dead. Does EQ actually kill it is the question. Thank Wait! My special money. defense is boosted from Less his Sandstorm. For Jodo. I'm going to EQ. I think the special defense boost saves me. Citrus Berry. Please save me. Yes! Yes! I- if I don't- if Sandstorm is not up there, I actually die. It is 67. Holy shit! If Sandstorm's not up there, I- I die. That's nuts. That's fucking awesome. There is Johto completed. That special defense boost, that Sandstorm actually matters so much. If he crits there, I'm dead, I think. Whew, or not quite. Wow. That was- okay, sick use of mechanics. Pog, Johto completed. GG's. Thank you for the raid, Ninetales, and the sub, Roby. I appreciate it. There it is. The Porygon Z. What are you... There we go. The Rampardos. GG's, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a nice two days. I beat Johto in... So it dropped at midnight. Other day, midnight. was five. 12 plus five. 17 hours plus 24. God, I'm so bad at math. This is why I'm a full-time streamer. 41 hours. I beat Johto within 41 hours. I'm pretty happy with that. With with as much 
with as many videos as I made and, and as much streams as I did, I'm very happy with that. Jodo complete. Pog. Pogger's fish, one might say. Dude, look at this sequence. This is so beautiful. Wow. This aesthetic is crazy good. I've never seen this. Nice. Level 100, max obedience level. There it is, fellas. GG's. Dude, look at this guy. Ready to ready to GG me. I appreciate that, man. There's our storyline journey for Johto over. But our Johto journey itself is just beginning. There's so many things to do. So many shiny hunts. So many challenges, completionist stuff. Suicune, maybe raids and dungeons to come in the future. Johnny Miltank. I need to go to Mount Silver. Complete my Pokedex to even be able to do that. Thank you so much for watching the stream. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'm going to be ending the video here, not the stream. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like on the video. It helps out tremendously to let me know you enjoyed the content and to recommend it to others. Subscribe for daily Pokemon videos. Follow the stream uh, on Twitch. Monday through Thursday, I usually stream at 12 p.m. ET, but kind of all over the place during big events like this. Discord's down below if you care about that. And if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, YouTube memberships, Twitch primes, Twitch subs, and PayPal slash Venmo do help out a ton. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Hey, thank you so much for watching until the very end of the video. Hopefully it was a positive asset on your day in some way. And thank you to everyone's name who's on this list, who is a massive positive asset to my day every single day. I appreciate you all. Thank you for going above and beyond and allowing me to do what I do.